Elias, you know what I'm going to say. Supposed to hold you over. It's a master grade. Don't say it. Yeah, I'm going to say it, Jack. A bandai kit? Bandai kit. Oh, okay, let's see. Let's see the bandai kit then. It's, the, it's definitely the same. Japan, though. Exactly. What is going on, people? Back with another episode. If you hear our voices, that's Wednesday, 3 o'clock Eastern Time, every Wednesday for 76, 77 weeks. 77? 77, 77. Yeah, 77. 77 weeks. Whatever episode this is, that's how many weeks we've been going. This is the Undergated Podcast presented to you by the Undergated Network. I am Coop at It's Coop on Instagram. I have the homie Gumpla Tesseract, also known as Austin. That's his legal name. And then we got CD. His legal name is Chloe's dad. That's so it. if you ask anybody around, it's, that's what it says on his birth certificate, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe's dad, Chloe's dad. Yep. Is CD. Yeah, they, they already right. knew. Yeah, they already knew. <laughs> From birth. It was me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> What's his name? Doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> what matters is going to be a father. That's it. <laughs> daughter's name is going to be Chloe. <laughs> I'm going to stamp it now. And we form and come together every every week. I'm going to say every week. We drop every Wednesday. Every week to assemble the Undergated Podcast. We bring you everything Gumpla related, anime related, manga related, books related, figures related. Whatever y'all guys ask for, that's what we bring. Because we do it for y'all. The community. Absolutely. Last week we had a dope guest on and if you missed last week's episode this is what you missed we started working on the rollout art gun easy because it was just a white kit and i'm like perfect paper just to start drawing on it and that's exactly like i love the more bare a kit is the better so in my opinion and that was last week's episode with guest one punch sam she was in the building she sat down and talked to us about a couple of things growing up as an anime fan gunpla everything in between so make sure you catch that episode last week we want to get a different perspective especially in the community when it comes to a female personality in gunpla because of course this is the rounds out the last week but i always want to treat everybody equally fair all the time so even though this is the last week of women's history mom treat your women right Treat Please. every woman in your life right. And remember, don't eat your plastic, as Sam said. Don't eat your plastic. We don't want that. Right? So we appreciate all the women out there. Again, shout out to One Punch Sam. Go check out last week's episode. And make sure y'all follow her on her Instagram. Link will be in the description down below. And as course, as always, we're going to have a pretty fun episode today. We got potential kid of the year. A, a dark horse out of nowhere God. for kid of the year. <laughs> right we, we i have a lot of kits announced <laughs> yes we had a lot of kits announced so many so it, we could say it may be eh, too prudent of us to crown any of them <laughs> yet again so, yeah so let's, it, let's this let's, one we got this one is for sure dark horse that came up i haven't seen because these guys they just can't as extremists they they shake they go through withdrawals they sweat if they have they couldn't wait to watch the new gundam trailer i right? can't consume it right then and there right then and there he could they couldn't wait i haven't seen the new gundam trailer so we're gonna watch it here we're gonna get my reaction to it and like i said we're gonna talk about some game changers and game managers and we'll talk about that a little bit more down the episode but before we get started as always of course mental health check everyone greetings how's everybody's week been awesome how's your week been brother um it was good until it wasn't <laughs> you see how it go it, right at wednesday it, it, it was almost like a clock just just oh time to have a horrible time uh, mm. woke up felt terrible um uh had a medical mm. situation so i couldn't even go to work so i had to stay home for that uh and then uh got to work found out some stuff then some other stuff happened and they were like well, apparently everything has changed now or the way that and I was like, I don't want to be a part of that. Well, too bad you work here. So uh, there's that. And then uh, Friday I had to go into the doctor and they had to do some tests. And I uh, apparently I messed up the test itself because I forgot I was supposed to fast the day before. Uh, so they took my blood and they were like, oh, hey, um, are you OK? Are you not dying right no. now? 
And I'm like, oh, cool. yeah, you sure? Okay. And then I get a call at work. Hey, Austin, is this Austin? He's like, yeah. Hey, are you driving right now? He's like, what? No. Are, okay, make sure. You, yeah, yeah, just don't. <laughs> and uh, are you okay? Are you good? Because these numbers are crazy. And I was like, yeah, I know. That's why I came in. Uh, but <laughs> so, so now nah, they were like, nah, it, it, don't do anything. So Saturday, I pretty much sat back, relaxed, went into the Gundam Meat Club built some stuff um chilled with the guys until I, that wasn't feeling well and then sunday i was back to normal back to normal health just so, like that huh just like that just like that mm. back to normal feel all right feel fine um but i gotta watch i gotta watch myself now i'm getting to that point now and it's weird to say that i'm getting to that point in my life where i cannot just tank anything <laughs> i oh. have to i have to oh, watch yeah. The corners i gotta check my six yeah <laughs> i gotta clean yeah. breach and clear sweep <laughs> enemy ac 130 online right? yeah, exactly <laughs> i i gotta take some precautions so yeah it, it was a tough week until it wasn't um and then it was a tough week until it wasn't so yeah that, that's me cd I cd Man, brother how's your week sorry about that awesome yeah uh, it's, it's whatever, whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. Uh, i'm alive <laughs> it wasn't too bad i was sick i was i caught whatever chloe had and it was kicking my butt uh, i'm still kind of dealing with it now excuse the sniffles on the last episode but i was <laughs> dying um but i'm better now uh, that's good i've not been too bad work is working me now so i had my fun but now i actually have to work so uh it's like so it's like gone <laughs> Wild. Uh, but other than that, though, man, family's good. Boys will be on spring break next week. Oh, that was me. My fault, dude. I, <laughs> I was trying to figure out. I was trying to figure out. I hit this dag on um the vibration on this little. Bro, I feel like someone's like arm. hitting the gong oh, like this. My bad, people. <laughs> CD, my bad. You got no, you're out of time. You're out of time, CD. Move on. <laughs> I was hitting oh. the spring on the arm. And I was like, yo, what the hell is that? And then, Damn sure enough, y'all heard it better than y'all hear me sometimes. Yes. Damn. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, but that's all, all that's all me. What about you, Coop? Likewise, man. I've been chilling. I've work has been work. That's it, man. Rinse, wash, and repeat for the last five days, to be honest with you. Um the weekend came by quick, fast. Rest all day Sunday, rest all day Saturday. So Nothing, nothing. Good. That's good. I, I, nothing. I got nothing <laughs> that's good. for you, Jack. That's not bad, though. It's not yeah, bad. it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It was a chill weekend. Got to chill with the missus. Um, was able to get back into the gym, my home gym, and just be like, got in a uh, sauna, steam room, hot tub, just kind of relax. Just kind of relax. So let us know, people. What did y'all week? What how was y'all week? What did y'all do last week? And if y'all had an enjoyable week, and if you didn't have an enjoyable week, if you want to talk about it, get it off your chest, leave it in the comments down below. Or if it's that serious, hit us up and we'll talk to you on a one on one level. For sure. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But of course, here's where the fun begins, right? For some, um, building and breaking down that backlog. The fun begins in the pocket screen. Yes. Austin, you got anything new in, brother? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got, oh, matter of fact, I need to get one of them. All right. No, I don't. They're all here. All right. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. No, no. All right. So uh, one thing that uh, I was looking to grab was uh, updated hands for my um, for the Blue Destiny and for other kids because I wanted the closed fist ones. So obviously i went to the uh hobby store and picked up a bandai hands um kits and uh i found the ones that fit and uh i'm not gonna use them they 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 fit small too big actually they're, like aesthetically they're just a little bit too big on the destiny they're, like it, it made it look like it was the origin hands like they're yeah awfully large uh so and that's the smallest size that they make for them uh the bar <coughs> thing, though, is what's adjustable so it's 3.5 or 3.7 mm -hmm. um but the actual physical hands themselves are essentially uh one size for the 144 bigger um, hybrids too size hands yeah yeah bigger save those for me save those for me then 
Yeah, yeah. If you if you or CD want to borrow some, by all means, take them. I, I probably won't be using these again. Um, so that was that. Uh, second, you guys know I love girl kits. Hobby Town true. USA just got this in today. I happened to be in there and I was talking to the guy while he was taking it and like putting labels on it, and I just swiped it. So I, I paid for it. I just. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> <laughs> But uh, he wasn't looking. No, I was late. Uh, no, uh, that was the uh, Hersvogger or, or Hersvog. Uh, yeah. It's a frame arms girl kit. Um, and it is a variation. If you guys um, have seen my other stuff, I have a, the blue version of this. And the, this is the bikini armor. So this is not the full kitted out version of it. Um, and the reason why I got this is because the blue one that I have, there's a uh, little parts in there that allows them to hold hands and uh, or like they're walking. Mm. So I decided to pick this up um it wasn't too bad uh not too bad of a price 54 dollars. that's compared to these framework girls that's kind of a drop in the bucket um they had a whole bunch of other ones that i'm going back there to buy i just have to wait till i get paid again because <laughs> you know i can't, can't we can yeah. have rice for dinner austin yeah <laughs> uh bank of america's been hitting me up I'm like hey buddy uh stop <laughs> so <laughs> uh but I, I i didn't stop so of course not i got the kit that i've been waiting for Pause uh, to this kid, uh, the kid it's I've been okay. waiting for. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay. You said you didn't stop. That's the regardless. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Yeah. Um, sexual innuendo aside, I got yeah. the, <laughs> I got the kid I've been waiting for. Um, this one was a little bit more expensive, but it comes with a lot of goodies. Uh, and uh, I've been pining over this kit ever since I saw it last year. Uh, I think summer of last year. So it just came out. And ladies and gentlemen, we have the Durga. Ooh. Two, and this box is massive. Oh, so it's, this, it's, yeah, it's compared to the other one, sheesh. compared to compared to the other one, like this. This is like a small master grade box. This is that. Now, it comes with a lot of stuff, a lot of weapons, a lot of. But it's essentially an updated version of the Durga, which is the one girl kit I have. Yeah, it's on my Instagram. If anybody um wonders what the regular Durga looks like, I have actually a showcase of that on my Instagram. It's the first girl kit, all the way down the bottom. Uh, but uh, the Durga 2 is the updated one with the armor. And what you get with this is you get an art book. So you get an art book that has like a manga and stuff like that in. There are little extras as well as a, uh, and uh, what's it called? A little, just small goodies here and there. Durga 2. Um, and I decided not to stop there with my girl kits. I decided to get something else uh, just to go with them. Because if I'm if I want to be serious with them, I got to be serious with them. Of course. He's back, y'all. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going for round two, baby. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not dissuaded. Destroy okay. one gun, destroy one gun, and I'm back, baby. Gaia notes. Ooh, the flesh tones, right? The flesh tones, including the frame arms girl uh uh edition of it. So you have the actual like color straight from them. So that max with the other frame arms girl color kits I got, my guy notes is growing. So, now do you have thinner, Austin? Yes, yes, I did. I bought lacquer thinner. I have that. It's uh, just over there. You can't see it, but you have to believe me. Three to and one ratio. Three to one ratio. Hey, man. The texture of milk. The texture of milk. The consistency of milk. EA Gumpla. I was watching the video. Watching the video, yeah. <laughs> of watching the video. All right, but that's me. Um, uh, that's all I got. Jesus, CD. Uh, yeah. You want me to go? Uh, you go. go la you go last. You go. Mine's is quick. Shout out to the homie Austin for this one. I've been wanting this. Hasn't been up on P Band Eye, and glad to have it. Will I start it soon? Hint, hint for the that might be out there trying to figure it out. The question is, I don't know. I want to, but I have other projects in the way. Ooh. We got the TR6 Wood. This looks absolutely phenomenal. Probably one of my favorite unique designs from a Gundam series. It's definitely, you know, when you that traditionally doesn't look like a mobile suit. Like, this doesn't really look like a could be a mobile Gundam. armor. Yeah, more mobile armor esque. It, it almost so, doesn't even belong in the Gundam universe when you because if you put it right. next to other Gundams, it's almost unrecognizable. 
Right. I wouldn't be surprised if this wasn't like Macross or something, right? Like if you've seen this, mm -hmm. that might turn into like a quick fighter jet rather than like a real, real looking one. Well, shout out to Austin for this one. Um, I don't know if I want to get on this when it comes to AOZ yet. Um, we'll see. We'll see. The, the TB, the TB uh, build list is getting to be built list is getting long. Yeah, right. So <clears throat> shout out to him. My man, Austin, right? Right down there. <laughs> Next up, we got, I think Austin and I both agree to it. I think Austin forgot to talk about this kit. He did forget to talk about it. I don't think we're gonna open this one, Jack. We're not opening this kit, are we? This one is gonna be collector's item. Oh yeah, <laughs> we got the Mark II real colors in, real type colors from Bandai, to Gundam Expo a few months back. Yeah, I know I was highly frustrated and upset because I missed out on the Mark II Titans version. Because I didn't know there was a Mark II Titans version. I've always wanted this one because I like the color scheme. It's like a darkish gray, gold, and a blue with some red stripes around it. But talking to Austin, um, there's no different from the normal Mark II. It's the same high grade, just a recolor. Yep. I thought it would be a little bit different from the high grade like maybe like different vents or different like so all the real type colors are just different colors yep they're just recolors yeah well i think but they come with they come in this box right very it's nice box art a very nice box and th there's a goof flight type yep that comes in this box yep that goof flight type is from what series that's a real type color right so that's different uh if i remember correctly that was a <coughs> whole new mold that they just yes. made the okay, see, I thought the real type color all I thought all the real type colors come in a different mold than what the counterpart is. No, so I no, did not the, know this was recolors the, are par for the course. That goof is just an anomaly that Bandai did yeah. because they just felt like being cool. Gotcha. So I got that's what I've those two pickups. I said I won't open it because I have the real gray mark two. I have the Titans one too, but it's that one's that one's that one. Um, so I might paint the real grade Mark II in the color scheme of the real type color. Or go get the high grade from Hobby Lobby. And it's like 40% 40 40 off. off, baby. Yeah, but it's like, do I really want to go get... Uh, I have the real grade here. Do I really want to spend an extra $20, $23 for the same, <coughs> you know, the same kit? Not same kit, but same... same. You know what I'm saying? Silhouette. Like, yeah, I have the same silhouette. I have the I have the kit in the better version of it, high grade. Real, that's neither here nor there. Go ahead, CD. What you got uh, for us? Um, I did drop a video last week. Make sure you guys check it out. I had a yep. nice little haul from Vulcan Hobbies. He sent to me some stuff. I'm not gonna show that stuff except for the things that I have to send out to Coop in Austin. Um, one of each for you guys that were we will be doing at some point um this is the gm shoulder cannon missile pod so these will make we're, it to you guys we've retired in the gms after this one yeah <laughs> I, I got one more easy but <laughs> after that yeah i'm good <laughs> we're good on gm just as the next <laughs> yeah, say, cool. matter of fact don't you got something you're supposed to be working on yeah i guess i can say that do y'all want to y'all want to do the justice and come back to the um I, come back to the I, I have all the jesters i have the just the high grades i got the master grades i could give you i have two regular justice and half cannon or uh just a cannon i can give you a master grade Jesta, and i'll just build the Jesta cannon and cd you can buy the master grade Jesta. unless you guys want to do high grades i'm for a master grade it's been a while it's been a while but Anyways, we'll talk my my, my uh, we're scheming. We're scheming. <laughs> I did grab a couple paints. Um, some Mr. Color, some bright blue and cobalt blue because we are doing a group build. Um, I am working on something that we'll talk about in what's cooking. But I got some I need blues. To see that cobalt blue. I got some orange and some reds. A little bottle of thinner. 
And then I got some books. Um, so I did read three books this past week. Um, I found out one is a sequel, so I got that coming to the local library. But I did read Red Rising. And then I did get book two. I went to Barnes & Noble's the other day, Sunday. Got Golden Child, which I read. And then this is book three of the series, Morning Star. We got like maybe 20 pages left. So I'm on 17 books. He ran he, ran, books. he got them. But these books? Quarter through the year. Quarter through the these year, two right here? Books. These are up there. Up there with the one I just read. Um, I did want to read the first line of this book because I thought this shit was dope and I would want any story I read to start with this. And it is, I would have lived in peace, but my enemies brought me war. And that's just a fire first line to a book, dog. Wow. That is dope. That is dope. These Damn. books have some of the most quotable type, like, all right, bro, like, this is like Instagram, tattoo-worthy type quotes. So, um, Damn. And he's from Seattle. That's what she's oh, doing. Wow. So, first one, uh, second and third, though, like, he- like five out of five type type read. So if you guys are interested, dystopian type sci-fi revenge stories, these are it for you. So 17 books down. I did download an app to keep track of how much I'm reading. Um, I said that if I want to read 64 books this year, I need to read an hour and a half a day. And I think I read for about two and a half, but that's like almost a book there. So Dang. See, it's an hour and a half a day at what rate? Like if you're like, oh, yeah, read that's, twenty that's another... pages in an hour and a half. It's like st- standard. Like they say, like our age group, you could read like three hundred. I don't want to say three hundred pages, maybe three hundred words a minute. Mm-hmm. And that's like roughly like sixty pages a minute or sixty pages an hour. So a page a minute. Gotcha. But what are you what are you putting down, buddy? I probably read almost double. Yeah, got you. So you're like the hot rod of humans. Look, I'm reading there. <laughs> But when the book is good, dog, uh, you just you just kind of go with the flow. Like, I had the I had my phone light in my mouth reading the book at like two o'clock in the morning because I just couldn't put the book down. Yeah, you can Bro. put it down, man. Get some sleep. Nah, nah, CD, man, we need to get you in some auction houses, bro. Can you imagine how quick that joint would be reading off the ticket? But y'all yep. brothers picked up some good stuff. And make sure y'all go check out. CD CD's playlist. We don't know what it's called. CD's unboxing. That's he dropped it that video. It was a, a lot. Shout out Vulcan Hobby, man. She takes Shout care out, of it, of bro. course. Of course. We appreciate it. Right. Yeah, he, he makes he sure that some, we... he sent he sent me some stuff too, but I'm not I'm I'm keeping that stuff secret for a while. For a little bit. 10 4. Oh. Yeah. 10-4. So shout out to him. Shout out to him. And again, people let us know in the comments below what's some new things y'all picked up. Y'all picked up a lot of a lot of dope stuff and shout out to that um i forgot his name i'm sorry slipped my mind but the guy who asked cd about his books he was like yeah. one of the first yeah he yeah. he has he has some he has some good get some good um yeah he was talking about uh the way of the kings actually he was asking if i read the other books in the series and i was like no nah, not yet but now i know mm. i got some more shit to add to my my list so there you go there you more. go and i the the backdrop looked dope too man i like that I'm, I'm rearranging some things so uh, you know we're trying some shit out i brought yeah, the kids sure. back so people can be like you have all those kits in the background that you haven't built yeah i do yeah and, and... exactly <laughs> yeah. next <laughs> next <laughs> next that we have what's cooking what we have on the table i mean book wise you heard cd talking about it kit wise figure wise whatever wise when it comes to um building i'll make mine qu- pretty quick um i'm working on a dari blade the dar dari blade here it is it's coming out pretty good two different uh reds the signia red over italian red uh so some of the pieces have that look and yeah there we go i'm gonna clean that up and I'm liking it's a different build. This, this is my first Witch for Mercury kit. So doing a doing like the uh like putting a piece together and then putting the what's was usually like the PC part for like the shoulders for this. Like you put this together and it the uh, this part that holds up the wing or the shields, you push that in after you put it together. 
So he holds it in there. Yeah, it holds it in there. So that's a different, um, definitely a different take than what I'm usually used to. It's a fun little build. And I do have the expansion parts. I'm trying to think of anything else about it. it really, it's really. Mm, it's one of the better looking kits from the show. I don't have a lot. I have Ghouls de Lanza as well in the uh, aerial and a caliber. So I have to go just finish watching the show. That's four. You got as much as that's me. four, four, four. But it's probably about like 50 kits. What you think is probably close? It's pushing. It has to be 30. pushing. Have 30. 30. Yes, yeah, so that's always pushing 30 for sure. Have 30. Hmm. Yeah. But, Four I mean, out of 30? But you still have the most popular ones. Uh, the only thing you don't have is the aerial. And I do have on, I said I mean, the Caliburn's coming, so. He has a Caliburn, too. I have oh, a yeah, Caliburn and an aerial. And an aerial, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Oh, never mind it, yeah. <laughs> I don't have the other one. Rebuilt. That's nobody has that i feel like the most popular one is the choo choo dimmy trainer that's the mm. most popular one nah. everybody wanted a choo choo dimmy trainer nah. austin you got a choo choo dimmy trainer i do and i'll tell you right now it's the caliburn <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, hint hint wink wink i was gonna say i got a choo choo <laughs> yeah everybody got a choo choo dimmy trainer it seems like but hint hint wink wink what we're gonna be talking about later other than that that's it uh, try to get caught up on some shows. Watch, not all the way. I haven't got caught up on Solo Eleven yet. Watch one episode, episode. Eleven just came out. Fighting Fire. episode twelve. You know what it's called? No. Arise, and God damn it, I'm ready for it. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I will be caught up by the time that drops for sure. Um, and King is sure on Netflix, and we got some good news about that as well. So that's it. CD, what you got working on? Uh, our group build. I have it all in pieces in front of me. This is the uh, Blue Destiny unit, too. Get it, getting ready to get a good wash. Um, and I'll probably get that painted. That's why all those blues and reds were mixed up so I could get the, uh, not the exact color, a little CD variation of the colors for that. Um, and then I am working on a couple other projects because IPMS is about four and a half weeks away right around the corner so, see right you there the see there be square yeah and all the books you're reading and stuff like that so see you got a full house Too many CD got a... awesome what you got um so i was uh finished the blue destiny officially now um i uploaded the pictures in the showcase for everybody to take a look on instagram looks uh, good too loving thank it you, everyone you. is loving it dog Oh, thank you, thank you, thank thank you to everybody who liked it and, and shared it. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, I'm almost a little bit. Uh, uh, it's crazy because it got it, it went really high really fast, and I was like, oh, cool, somebody likes it. Oh my god, there's a lot of people like it. <laughs> and, and now I'm having a ton of people that are sharing it that I I didn't even know uh, were there. But uh. But uh, I am now working on like four different kits at the same time, um, and I needed to not do that. So I decided to throw a poll up there to see um, what people would like to probably see from me first. Because I, this is the first time I asked people, hey, what do you guys want to see? Because mm. um, I'm working on four things, and I bet I could probably get them done by next month and a half. But what's something I should hustle through? And um, for... A while there, I had the Toad's Ritter, the Durga 2, uh, the MG Perfect Strike, and the, um, uh, the Geo 4 up. And by got it, the Toad's Ritter was winning all the way up into the last, literally the last, I think, hour. Uh, and it was 31, 33% Toad's Ritter, 34% MG Perfect Strike. So Sheesh. I voted for Perfect Strike. I'm not going to lie. I did, do, I did two Toad's Ritter. He did, so he, yeah, yeah I, I, I was looking. I was like, "Dang, that's close!" So literally, it was it was probably CD who threw it over. But uh, a lot, no. <laughs> but no, that uh, so as a result, I am now working on the perfect strike. So I have the head done. I have the arms over there on the desk, uh, ready to go, and I got a hand here. And um, I'm just gonna hustle <laughs> through it. Um, today's just, it's just gonna be a long night tonight, and I'm just gonna build the whole. Thing you don't need tonight. to be a long night. We already talked about this, Austin. It doesn't need I, to be a long night, brother. I can get it done by two a.m. I know and I can get up that. at five. 
Yeah. I Get got three it. hours of sleep. I got this. This is I'll try to talk them out of it. <laughs> I can get it done. Uh, but yeah, no, nah, so I'm already started working on that. And um, yeah, so that's that's the next venture. All right, that's what's up, man. We got a lot of stuff on the table, a lot of stuff on the table, some secret stuff behind the scenes. I for sure have something I haven't sh- these guys know, but the people out there on YouTube and Spotify land, y'all don't know. <clears throat> I do have a kit that's one of my favorite kits, personal kit of all time, is just it just sucks overall um <laughs> so over, i built it before i was fairly new into building when i it built just it. Sucks. it but <laughs> overall it's a it's a terrible kit nonetheless but i want to try to spruce it up and give it that 2024 flair or order some stuff online for it and it's definitely something if i could master what i want to do with it it's um want to be one of my top builds of all time for sure so you know, actually people out there on youtube and spotify land might actually know what i'm talking about because i hit it let's, let's see you guys guess yeah guess, guess that in the comments below should i even put it in coop's corner that's dropping tomorrow with a beautiful host about 5 30. actually should i even put that should i have that and just leave it leave it as a surprise to build i think so i think so oh I think it'll help. All right, fine. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below what y'all think the kid is I'm working on. I gave y'all pr- some pretty good hints. And yeah, that's it. That's it. I, mean, I gave y'all pretty good hints. Other than that, that's it for what's cooking. Let us know in the comments below as well what y'all been working on. Movies, uh, figures, photos, kits working out at the gym what y'all been working on to get right what's cooking for y'all so we appreciate everybody who comments and of course now we have Mm. it's going to be a healthy piece of pie right here all right this is a, a good amount we have what's new and there is a lot of what's new so let's bring in the honorary member they don't know but they do the gumpla nerd instagram page where we get all our information first from and first up we have some robot spirit stargazer gat x 105e striker nor gundam i'm assuming yeah. these are what austin oh uh, no they're no you they're exactly what they are they're just uh essentially mostly gundam seeds version of the the gym yeah. in that universe um they're in this this is the slaughter dagger if i remember correctly which is the special forces um phantom pain uh mobile suits so they're just painted black and they have vulcans in their in their feet vulcan guns in their feet and that's Damn. about it yeah they all have the l strike now for those who don't know by the way this this is all from the event gumpla nerd was just um uh, he was actually he actually leaked another kit that came up that we're gonna let you know but there was a gundam event in japan um, I forgot the exact name. Hobby Next, I believe. And this is where all this is coming from. Absolutely. <clears throat> and next up, we have Kit of the Year. Dark Horse came out of nowhere. Everybody know. We all three voted. It was the Sinazu Stein new narrative we call hands down with a landslide over here <laughs> at, the un- at the Undergated Podcast, at the Undergated Network. That must I mean, have been was- the Overgated I- Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Or the overrated podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was sitting up in the um I gave it was a long run. What is it? Uh, about eight, ten weeks as kid of the year, potential kid of the year. Until <laughs> that's a pretty long streak for what's coming out, you know. Um <laughs> pretty long for a pretend reward for something hey, that didn't come out yet. <laughs> hey, you never know. And but now it might have been dethroned, people. We have the RG Granddaddy Gundam 2.0. Let me say that again because you might not have heard me. Maybe you had your windows rolled down on the interstate while you listen to on Spotify. Maybe the kids ran by the TV while you're watching on YouTube. We have the RG RX 782 2.0. I'm a hater, but I'm not here for it. I'm not going to lie to you. This is a P 
P-G-U-L-T-E. This is a PGU light. This is the small version of what the perfect grade unleash looks like. This is amazing. This is what we want as the RX 78. It gives you all the bells and whistles. This looks better than the Origins RX 78. I don't want to hear about the boxy frame. I don't want to hear about proportions. This looks phenomenal. Well, I mean, unfortunately, that's what you're going to hear. The proportions are <laughs> a little out of whack <laughs> and it is boxy. So, dude, the shoulders are a little bit big. The arms are a little bit large. But you know what? I'll say this. I was not a big fan the first time I saw this. I think the only thing I liked of it was the legs. Legs, in my opinion, the legs and the waist looked phenomenal. But the longer I looked at it, the more shots I've seen. And also, I'll say this. This picture does it horribly. You actually, if you see it in person, like the actual in action live shots that they, they provided for yeah, we're going to look at it too, yeah. It, it looks a little bit better, but the shoulders are a little bit too boxy for me. And I think that PGU was the reason why I kind of don't like it. Because I've said before, I don't really like the PGU design all that much. I think it's okay. I don't think it's terrible. Um, but now they've taken, in my opinion, the worst aspects of the PGU, which were the boxy big shoulders that kind of don't fit in the I'm very wide arms. That. Awesome. So, because after yeah. I want to let CD go, I want to talk about that. Because go ahead, CD. We'll talk about this real quick. <laughs> well, but also one one other thing. One other thing though. The inner frame though looks absolutely beautiful. I'm sorry. Continue, CD. But why? But why? Why do we need this? This is my question. What do you oh, mean? Why? Well, I, the the, the original RG Arc 78 was terrible. Yeah, it, it was, was terrible. But, but why? Why do we need another granddaddy? Why can they have kicked the 2.0 out? Like this isn't the first 2.0. Like everyone forgets that the freedom got a 2.0. No one just Somewhat. knows what the strike sure. got a 2.0. The yeah, strike no, no. is the 2.0 freedom. If you look at it side by side, it's completely not completely different, but it's, it's a lot of upgrades. I just it's this is random. completely different. This this is a, a true definition of a 2.0. The what the strike probably there's the outer frame when you put everything together, it looks the same. Because I'm not talking about no. the frame being 2.0, even though this frame is 2.0. The look of a new RG and the aesthetic of a new of a of a reappearing kit makes it the 2.0. This is just the, this is just the same quality as the last Robert. The the, the I, I, I don't know if I'll go that far because I would say the inner frame for this looks amazing. The build for it looks like it's gonna be a ton of fun. The color separation, part separation, and they get even made the core fighter. And the core fighter is able to bend so you have an actual the core fighter itself bends inside the frame so you have ankle um and, and ab, oh, crunch, ab crunch um so all that looks great the problem is when you put the armor on i just don't really like the look of this except for the waist down everything so else you, it, ugh. i'm tired of you, it. i don't know what do you say but i understand that if you're box tired of the shoulders when you mm -hmm. say box shoulders the shoulders on the origins uh kit every this is just like an updated origins kit if you put a shoulder cannon on this, this looks just like the Origins kit. Shoulders are smaller mm. than Origin, though. Shoulders are, it's yeah, smaller. shoulders are smaller. It's smaller. They're yeah, still boxed. They're, they're, no, I'm not. I'm not. My problem isn't box. The problem is when the box is too big, it becomes a problem. So the the box, if they shrunk the shoulders, probably two, three milli, mil, millimeters. Like at first, you wouldn't notice it, but aesthetically, I think it would fit a lot better. Same with the arms; they're a little bit wide. But is, I I think that. I still think this that this so looks good. I, I still think it looks good. It's just it's just out of out of proportion. For so you told me this. So this is replaced. The kid is not. Yeah, this is with a, with a breeze, huh? With a yeah, easily. Yeah, man. The Cinderella okay. story strikes again, folks. I don't know. I would take this. Y'all thought Oakland. Y'all thought Oakland did something to Kentucky. I still don't think this is better than the Solomon, but this is better than the Solomon. So we'll talk right about there. we'll talk about that later again stick around for the fun part next up we have high grade lightning buster gundam updated frame updated joints everything about it updated updated proportions it looks and works a lot better i think as a buster gundam especially in a 144 mm. uh my only real issue with this is that uh yeah even the hip the hips can drop now so you can do a lot more poses with it but my only problem with this is the price it's a Which little it? bit high it's about thirty dollars probably thirty dollars which high grades especially the old buster was like 21 so you're, you're looking at a ten dollar ten dollar price hike 
That's fine. If the if the shoulder cannon GM calls for 30. Mm. Nah. I, the I, new I one, the, the, shoulder, the shoulder cannon. But I think the shoulder cannon you came with a little bit more than this. This doesn't even have a shield. What is the just out of curiosity, what is the popularity of this suit in the show? It was so unpopular in the original show that they made the character who pilots it, Diarca, join the good guys so that mm. his kit would sell more. Um, the master grade of it's very popular. The high grade, no one ever bought, no one ever cared about. And this is season one, right? Yeah, that was that was season one. Why we, the reason why I'm asking, why are we getting this? This is from the Stargate. This is from the new movie Seed Freedom, the brand movie that just came out just two months ago. This Most lightning buster. Yeah. This, is from this the wasn't movie. in this season. This was in season one, though. No, no, the Buster Gun was in the movie. Right. I mean, the, the Buster Gun was in the show. That's but right. The upgrades that turn into Lightning Buster is okay. from the movie. So yeah, this is Lightning all, Kit. This is new movie stuff. Okay. Yeah, and the Lightning I, Kit is essentially the shoulders there. Get the the Lightning back. Packs, the bigger guns, and the side Vulcans and the side guns. That's it. Hip guns. Mm. Is it a cop for you, CD? I'm straight. You straight? I'm straight. Austin. I, I have never owned a Buster Gundam in any form yet. I do not plan on owning one anytime soon. Mm. I, I don't have a I don't have a hate for the Buster Gundam. I just it's just not me. We have the SD. Wait, oh damn! I was about to say um, MG EX. Yeah. <laughs> we have the SD Mighty Strike Freedom. Still no Master Grade yet. It, it also comes in cross silhouette as well. So this, yeah, this, I, I this is we're getting this for sure. I just seen Madworks. They 3D printed the backpack. Yes, the PG. Why would they not do it for the Masquerade? Okay. <laughs> we have Mobile Suit Gundam Silver Phantom. This is the mobile game that's coming out, right? The VR. Austin was telling me about uh, this, it. This is the VR movie. movie. It's a yeah. VR movie, which is crazy. I, I don't understand how that's going to work. <clears throat> I don't know, but I got an Oculus. Lucky dog. Yeah, yeah. CD's gonna be the only one who enjoys it. <laughs> I'll let you know. Here is the trailer. Do y'all want to run through the trailer? Go ahead. It looks like a. Uh, yeah, no, it's definitely CG. Yeah. Life size universal. The life size universal century. Mm. This is apparently supposed to take place. Uh, before, right before a shark's counterattack, or if the fights before. put you in the cockpit, you know it is. That's you know it is. But, but the the most interesting things about the gun, you, you don't think you get in the that? cockpits. That's true too. Like you, you like seeing outside the cockpit when you see all the action happen. It'd be nice to be in the cockpit for like half a minute, but then it's gonna be disorienting. Just Especially give me like the uh, Thunderbolt scene. They gave it a VR um, zone of Enders. For the PlayStation, they might have it on uh, Oculus, but I'll, I'll, see, I'll see what you're talking about, CD. I mean, Austin, about being in the cockpit that long. What sucks is it would have been dope if this was interactive. Like if you, if they would have made this a game, a little like certain scenes you could shoot. At least when I'm just, he's not just sitting there because you're not. It's not gonna feel like controller or some shit. Yeah, you just like something. I don't know. I mean, props to them for trying something new. Uh, Absolutely. Like I, I've Future always been a champion of trying something new. It's Absolutely. just sometimes when you try things weirdly new. <laughs> then we have the high grade dual blitz Gundam. I'm assuming this is also from the movie as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is definitely a cop. So not only are we getting a completely rebuilt dual Gundam, which is one of my favorite Gundams from Seed um and it's actually posable this time because it can drop its hips uh you also get all the armor on top of it too so you're essentially getting two kits now it is pricey it's like 30 i think 35 dollars maybe 3500 yen which it's only five dollars cheaper than the the pg mini light you whatever gundam thing but uh yeah it's this is definitely i, I think i might pick this up mm -hmm. It's a pass for me just because I'm not a big C fan. I barely watched it. It's a pass for me. I got the original high grade. So they're crappy kit. It's cool that they're redoing them, but it's yeah. slowly does that not look like a cross between a little bit of 30 minute missions? Like the it started to look less robotic than it almost mm -hmm. looks like a suit of armor. 
like an Iron Man esque. Like it looked like a kid could be inside. Like if you told me this was a series where armor goes on top of a kid, like his like his Iron Man, I would believe it in this. Really? Does that not look too too slender to you, Austin? They don't look. Sl- it looks right, like I, with the, without the armor. Without the armor, like this picture right here. This is like a regular astray. Yeah, it looks like like like, like a regular astray essentially but I, once again we're used to the seed universe their their That's legs true. are all run skinny yeah. in the seed universe they're all they're all meant to have the action oh man what's it called the action joint technology which uh when bandai made them is supposed to make them super more posable and more human mm. human aesthetic human wise gotcha. yeah that, that's why the freedom looks like that way and the strike looks that way. Yeah. maybe because the freedom also has like with the backpack and you can yeah. see the gundam looking at this again, there's no like, backpack here yeah and it's very stripped down exactly Almost like that um, kit that came out a couple of weeks back. Was it that Gundam that was on P Bandai? It was like, yeah, we got to get. It looked like a whole lot of armor. Mm-hmm. It looked like it had the new Gundams and stuff like that. The new Gundams. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now we have a figure yeah. I stand it. Uh, right here. Austin. Yep. Take yeah. it away. Yeah, we got yeah. it, guys. All Jesus. right, everyone. Cheat we all knew. We all knew it was going to be. One of three girls. She it was going to be the Lacus clone. It was going to be Kigali. Or it was going to be Luda Maria Hawk, baby. The best girl in the whole series. Why and are girls like this is crazy. And too. they yeah. left her cake. They know what was good in Destiny. Why she they got like, her looking back at it? Like bro, in, in Destiny, it was her and Lacus were like, it, people don't realize Mobile Suit Gundam Seed has a ton of fan service in it like yes. a crap ton and luna maria was like she was the it girl for destiny all destiny she was the only reason a lot of people even finished the show like a lot of people watched it because she was in it and they left her cake intact which i'm very happy about and on top of that gentlemen not only do we get a visor in the helmet so we can have it visor on or off in the helmet and we get the helmet we get an open chest piece like an, a Come part that on, actually man. opens up the suit so you can see her green shirt her iconic green shirt underneath and it better be green and... you got some flesh tone colors over there it better be green <laughs> over there oh dude media. you have no idea dude i i've already <laughs> seen several videos of some 3d printers that have gone eight have have gone eight but bro lord <laughs> that green part too is made of a soft squishy plastic so you can actually like push it in and it's supposed to be a soft material Got dude it. i am um, I'm, I'm, this, this is might be the best figure rise standard, uh, uh, girl kit that they've released in a while. <clears throat> Actually, I think, I think ever, I think this is my favorite one. Yeah. This is, this is because of bias, right? You think this beats out the choo choo? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no contest. Everybody's like, Luna, love, Luna no Maria, contest? Dude, Luna oh. Maria Hawk is she, the Galgoog, right? The Galgoog Menace, the, the, the Zaku Hunter or Sniper, or, or really it's Hunter, right? The Zaku Warrior Hunter, dude, she pilots the 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 impulse towards the end of it too, and she wrecks some fools. She's not like a, she's not like a. Oh, I'm I'm kind of good. Like no, she, gave like, you two she was making sculpts. Shin look like he couldn't do Jack. So you get <laughs> you get two body scores besides like a chest replacement. Yeah, dude, this this is this is a definitely man. It, the only thing that hurts is the wallet. I know it's gonna be pricey, but this might about forty five dollars. Oh, yeah, this, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to pick up my Zaku warrior from Hobby Town, take it back, and build her up, and have her stance with it, take a picture. And that way, you're gonna, get, a, you're gonna get more than one, the, huh? not, not yeah, just, just because if you can do the suit and then do the uh, suit open, oh. that'd be cool. Oh, no, no, I, yeah, no, I, I already know exactly what pose we're gonna do. I'm gonna do pose where she's looking back at us, <laughs> and the Zaku is standing right there in the background, looking down at you. That's gonna be yes, yes, yes. Uh, that that's yes. fire. That's fire. That might be a pose I might put with a kid of to, uh, to, some toy photography. That's dope. And I'm <laughs> painting like... that suit. I'm painting that suit too. I got the decals already in mind, ready. For okay, it. cool. Just not flesh tone, right? We, we we're not rocking the flesh tone suit. Let's see. <laughs> uh, close enough. <laughs> close enough. We yeah, got yeah. this. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, Next definitely. up. What the hell? Oh, option parts. A ton of option parts. Yeah, we got a ton of option parts coming on. This is kit bashers. For yeah. kit bashers, this is Christmas. For the kit, kit bashers, let us know if you copy any of these option parts. I think we got a. Uh, this is. 
Yeah, this is because they made too many of the Gians re recently, and now we got nothing else to do. <laughs> Leftovers. Yeah, this is this is. Come on now. Apparently, this make they the Bandai makes a ton of money off of reusing these molds in Japan. Like in Japan, this stuff sells really well because kit bashing in Japan is like well, huge. Well, I will assume so if they came out with the a live action kit bash series, I, which shoot, was pretty I, decent. Have y'all watched true. that one? Mm -hmm. The kit bash, the uh, one with the um... team bright and team. Yeah. Kit oh, dude. that live action one? No. I yeah, the live that. action one. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was okay. It was okay. It's on YouTube, right? Yeah. It was, it was like the uh, friend. They they were, were friends back in school. They built together. Then life got in between and spread out. And then everybody's coming back for one more build off. Mm. I think he ran into like his. He was in the friend that came back was staying with the girlfriend. I might be in a different series it's, though. It's Creed Four. It's not like a. <laughs> it's like a few K dramas I might have seen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but next up, we have some more option parts. Gunpla Seven, some powered arm stuff. Let's see what it it could go with. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> Ooh. Okay. okay. <laughs> Stop it. We made too many Alexes right, right here. TR1 Hazel. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, the TR1 Hazel, but the forearm, like, is that not from the Alex? No, it's definitely from the Alex, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. we got, we made too many of that. We got too many, um, maybe heavy arms kits floating out there, so. I do like the sub arms, though. I can see someone taking the sub arms and using them to connect some pretty cool stuff, but that a lot of guns. power like, shit right there. Put yeah. this. I want to see wh whoever gets this. Do us a treat and put this on the damn um, Psycho Zaku. Might as well. You already got that, those many arms. <laughs> Extra arms. And just go ahead and do us a favor. That's a let's see. Knock. Right. <laughs> <Doc knock. laughs> ah, there you go. That's dope. I like that. Next up. Next up. Nah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I thought they already had this. I right. swear I caught we, this we before. Release. This I got it in yeah. the box right now. I think I got the Zaku on the cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, right. So this is the Gatlin gun. I might pick it up though, because now that I know how to mask and know how to paint a little bit better since the last time I had it. We might see. This is extremely a decent size. Pause. Okay, folks. Let's, <laughs> let's act like Austin, let's act our age. <laughs> Because it's the high grade, animal. I know, man. He got the figure eyes, and all of a sudden, he's going crazy, people. But today's a good day. Today's a good day. But this <laughs> was this fit in the hand of the master grade um, heavy arms when I built it. So this is pretty deep, even though it says for high grades, it's a pretty decent size. Another option part set that makes you make it to a plane. Um, this is them and orphans. Iron IBO Blood as Wars. just a regular option set, like build up with option set. Okay. Set. IBO, yeah. Common Rider. Common Rider Kuga. Kuga yeah. Ultimate Form yeah. coming out. This looks dope. There, there is an a manga for this, too. Mm -hmm. And there's like three other variants of that. Oof. Wee. Sheesh. Now the waist is like tall. Why is the waist so tall? Now nah, the waist is tall. Ain't, ain't nothing changed, man. Ain't nothing changed. Now the arms look slimmer. Now the chest. I mean, like, look, look, look at, at the chest. them next to each other. Look, look at, at how the chest tall. protruding out. This is it's like it's like someone extended it two millimeters, like two claw plates, to give it a waist extension. Or uh, yeah, to make it. Taller. It is. It does. The the red does appear yeah. to be bigger than the red here. They had to had to fit the core fighter in there, right? That's true too. Look, and the chest is wider, man. That motherfucker look brawling, Jack. Man, they had they they tilted those shoulders up really high. Wait till they. You don't think the G three colorway gonna sell out? I, I think <laughs> no. I I think this is gonna sell roll out great color. With, this is gonna sell great. I think this looks better without the armor on it, though. I'm not even gonna lie, man. Those awesome. shoulders are so big, though. God dang. Austin, you kind of wild, dog, with the whole armor. Because look at him back there. I, I think the inner frame looks amazing. But look the, at him. Look, look at, at the that frame, dude. The inner frame looks amazing. You're look absolutely compared right. Compared to the old one, too, it looks it looks literally like a PGU. Went to the gym. In your hand. It's look like it went to the gym. And then it put Why? the armor on, and it's just like, oh, it forgot how to dress itself. You go to the gym, work out all that hard, and you put on a Hello Kitty T-shirt. Come on, Austin, man. 
Sorry. If that's your hey, look, if that's I'm your flavor, fun. if that's your flavor, I'm making, I'm making flavor. fun. No, but it, it, it looks fine. It looks fine. Uh, we, we are all going to buy one anyway. I'm going to get two. Mm. I'm going to get two. I wait for it on clearance somewhere. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna get it. Hey, if I get my hands on two and use this, this is a toy photographer's favorite kit. Look at the detail 144. And y'all gonna tell me real great isn't running the game right now? Come on, man. Come on, man. There's no master grade, there's no new master grade. That, that's Bandai. That's Bandai. There's no Bandai. That's, that's Bandai. Bandai. That's Bandai, right? And within the last five years, they can touch this. They've, they've forsaken the line. So I, I went back and watched the pod. The Coop, this or the Epion? Because you told me that was the best kid of the decade. Oh, the, the Epion for sure is the best kid of the decade. So where's this? This is up there. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Yeah. Stick around. Stand by to stand by, Austin. Stand <laughs> by to stand by. Here we go. We got some more heat coming out. We got the Zaku from the new real quick requiem netflix series this looks for a high grade looks okay i'm not saying it looks great but for a high grade it's dog shit. it come on now it's dog shit. you can't there, the, there are two camps and nice cooked for this <laughs> yes it's, for, it's, it's two camps this two is amazing camps. and this is dog shit. exactly and i am on the dog shit side <laughs> Yo, what high grade gives you this much detail? Thankfully, none. Thankfully, none. I mean, <laughs> okay, coming from the guys who want to scribe everything. Yeah, I mean, I don't scribe like this. This is insane. This has more Look, details than the real grade by like 50. By yeah. 50. By and 50. why are the... I'm sorry to bring it up again, but the proportions, my bro. Look at the kneecap. It, man, he skipped leg day. Why is he <laughs> Once Austin said his arms were long, I was like, damn, his arms do look like he could touch that, <laughs> that, that calf tubing. I'm like, yo, there's no way. If you take the gun and put the arms down, is it touching the calf, the calf tubing? <coughs> so what, if it's a prototype, okay. Like, I could give it a little grace, but it's, I'm not for it. And, and you can tell, and I know for a fact that it's that it's not the whole series. It's this kit particularly because in the trailer, uh, wait, 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 can we get, can we get right. to it? Can we get to it? That's right, that's right. But, but did they try to weather, or does it come like this? Jeez, I think it comes I like hope, this. I hope it doesn't come like that. Throw it away. I'll be mad. I'll be pissed. You don't eat. Wait, you don't even paint. I mean, you paint your kits anyway. I do. But so with the, this is weathered. It, this is for it, the kids that don't can't weather. Come coop, on, man. Coop, coop. Why do we clean kits first before we paint them? It's so that we can see the shape clearly without having anything really in the way. It's gonna it's gonna look weather. It's not gonna feel weather. That's I, it's, that, it's not about feeling. It's about what is me the seeing foot it. Doing dog. It got like a camel it's, hoof. Yeah, it's got like a piece extended out from it. Come on, man. Stop. Y'all, come on, man. Y'all, 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 I'll give it to you. The shield patience. looks cool. The shield connection point looks cool. All the panel line on that red shoulder looks cool. I just wish that everything in between that. And it's like damaged that, like the, I don't, what if, what if we didn't want the broken? Then don't put it up there, Jack. Man, come yeah, on. Got a hole. Now, now, I got, now I got to do more work. Now you got to do hole. more work coming from a hole. guy who described everything. And, and the skirt is so flat. Terrible. Like the front skirt Sitting is so flat. Bye. Why is the gun drooping too? Yes. It's the kit. Here we go. Here we go. Send it home. Y'all guys. Give, this is definitely Give me the gonna... back shot. Quick. Pause. I got to see from the back. Quick. I, I, I don't mind if this... <laughs> If this was an RG with all those panels, I would let y'all have it. No, now never mind. Never mind. It looks even worse now. The Look random, the it random looks, panel. It X looks like right wood. on the butt. It looks Bro, like wood. Never mind. I was trying to be. I was trying to be positive. I don't like this. this and is, just, this is, just look at the heat hawk. Yeah, look the at heat it. Hawk's it's crazy. So skinny. Why is it so skinny? Why Austin. is the handle so skinny? I, the handle is not skinny. Zoom Dude, look at the handle. Man. The handle is as skinny as the wire tubing. This is, is nitpicking. Is to the, oh, this is nitpicking to the core, folks. What y'all hearing? 
the extra tubing on the legs terrible if this dropped as a third party one 100 y'all be like yo i might have to cop no probably no. Even worse it'd be even worse because it's even bigger yeah oh yeah and then this so so i i've come around on this apparently and this so, being the new whatever gundam the gundam ex yeah from this show so this gundam was designed by the same guy who made the easy eight for eighth ms team of course okay. fact, all the stuff was designed by him right this gundam was a prototype 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 gundam so apparently it's not supposed to have almost any armor panel on it. it's supposed to be just exposed wiring and tube and cable and stuff like that you was talking about i think if you look at it from that perspective as if it's just like a robot like from i robot like just <laughs> just GM? like will yeah like 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 <laughs> like will smith was supposed to fight this and it's supposed to be like six feet tall instead of 65 feet tall right it it would make a little bit more sense but with the word someone saying it's a gundam with like a slave wraith head but with i i just can't i just can't bro talk were you about to convince me that somebody's talking about this? the backstory almost made you go okay i might cop this no no, no 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 not my cop i would understand no you're this still ugly as mess i just understand how you got to be this ugly. is when the proportions look crazy yo look at the waist look at the waist like, look at the z's look at the groin like got some look at the groin man the groin, <laughs> i didn't even groin. see that <laughs> you got the flippers <laughs> the groin is just the it's the head the face the chin strap it's supposed to be a slave wraith head right can we cut but the nubs off the off the v fins bandai please when you drop these photos that makes it look even worse this looks this, like oh god a gm the slave wraith head the slave uh, wraith head actually looks pretty cool i don't know how they made that not look cool right yeah, slave we'll, we'll, oh. the fact we'll see how it looks on the show once it drops on the show i think people gonna enjoy it now if you notice in the trailer oh i can't talk about it because we haven't seen the trailer yet. that's we'll right. talk about it after because yeah okay in the trailer oh, they, right. no they know what they're doing in the trailer they, yeah they're they, selling it to you yeah it no they to, they trust me they're they're doing their best <laughs> it goes to Carmen rider cougar again love him love him sticker heavy as hell though but i love him we have a common rider mask rider cava cava form uh aoz reboot austin a hyzak psycho the, gundam the, uh, th this is not a, this is not an aoz reboot uh this, this is, is the, that's what it says no no no, no. this the the hyzak is next after this but this is the harm bombaldi oh, uh okay. this is now this kit is pretty hype do you guys know about this kit there, there's the aoz hyzak uh that looks like a transformer mm. it does doesn't it it has cool. a face that looks like it that's right a, that's a decepticon sound wave it transforms, it? transforms no. into a scorpion or some shit. I don't know. Right. yeah 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 scurry i feel you it's one yeah. of them so it looks, looks like terrible it, right? so um this was one of the highest requested uh universal century high grade kits um in years there are i think four resin conversion kits five third party kits two this looks uh, terrible uh, just now in the show this plays a pretty pivotal role and i've got to say i like it I like you like this i like this a lot I the like rg 2.0 is sitting in your face i like this a lot that's this the answer is, to this in my opinion is more inspired and looks more interesting than the the new rx78 rg dude have you seen the piping in the like actual mechanical design underneath zoom in to like underneath its chest i can right? see it and the all these colors that you're seeing are color separated all these parts are separated like all the red that you see on the feet the legs the thigh the back pieces you have now separate pieces inside the thrusters things you don't get until master grades about this time is on the high grade high grade but did the, it's just just knowing I, that doesn't make me go and i this love is, the color the, the this color. color is beautiful you do like I, the, you, this is like this, this is unlike any other uc stuff we've ever seen and exactly. once again i will praise uniqueness out of and and thank you for giving us a kit that nobody ever took a second look at and said ah Throw it in the trash bin. So this you got the bond doc. Bond doc. Oh yeah, yeah. You got it yeah. in your backlog. No, I don't have it because it costs too much for a high grade. It's a good. It's a good kit. Good looking kit. 
Well, when it's painted, well, yeah. I mean, I, I would say it did work. It won Gundam uh, best Gundam. It won best Gundam IPS. Oh, yeah. And and, because, and, and, and a certain somebody, no, 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 no. A certain somebody told me if you give just a little bit of love to a certain brand of of model kit, it will look a brand, good. a Don't, brand, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, a brand. Don't yeah, get yeah, me wrong, yeah, NATO yeah, over yeah, rice, yeah, yeah, his yeah, look yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. What, what brand are we talking about? Full mechanics, right? Yeah, yeah, his, yeah, yeah. yeah. His bond dot look amazing. Yeah, but looks amazing. But this over the, so you cop this before the 2.0 RG. Yeah. Yes, I will. This and this be, is definitely and you a lone home man home. on that island. You'll be a lone man it, on that island. It, plus, you guys didn't watch Zeta. So if you watch Zeta, there's nothing I've seen that I'm copying. The 2.0. No, no, the CD's not getting that. <laughs> we have the AOZ reboot. Here we go. This is the high Zach custom. Now I'm getting two of bit. these. Yeah, this is a yeah. bit. I'm, I'm not getting these. But it doesn't look bad. I'm happy for you, Austin. Thank you, sir. The fact I'm, they I'm, call it a high Zach, right? And it's, it, it looks like a Zaku throws me off, man. I understand yeah. the reason and why. It's the AOZ version of the high Zach. And yeah. it's technically a high Zach custom. So it, but why it, don't they call it a high Zaku? Because the people who made the Zaku were a different company. And the people who made the high Zach was Anaheim Electronics. And if you start calling things Zakus out in space right after a war, that would look pretty bad that's like you know america exactly. building tiger tanks and then calling all of our tanks tigers right after we beat the nazis with their tigers <laughs> we're like ah maybe having americans not drive nazi type <laughs> tanks would be good <laughs> this is, this is right here. i like this <laughs> here we go to the new 144th psycho gundam mark two mark two but we knew this was coming yeah because of the arms we mm -hmm. knew this was eventually this happening because of the arm it looks terrible to me I'm not. This is a no. Excuse me. This looks terrible. Oh, you got the you first got, one. Wait, wait to see the colors. Wait to see the colors. You got the first one. Yeah. No, I don't have the first one, but this looks great. I. I this I'm is not. like a Megazord. <laughs> this oh, for sure looks like you, a Megazord. Y'all haven't seen Zeta. Dang. I've man. seen bits and pieces of it. Zeta. Nah, Honestly, nah, you haven't. Just seen Zeta. Just because nah. I haven't seen Zeta. Yeah. How can we not talk about the the head proportion of this looks okay? The head yeah. don't look small to you, huh? No. The, uh, it uh, looks let perfect. me tell you. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, no. It looks look great. It looks it looks perfect to me. This looks fantastic. This is this is looks like it came out the anime, like, literally off the screen. This looks great. And there's a very emotional pivotal scene of that head, and there's a reason why the head's kind of small, and it's very emotional scene that happens, and that's why I'm like, yeah, this this is perfect. So the backstories of these kits is makes you love them a little bit more, huh? Oh, well, the backstory of anything makes me love something a little bit more. At the end of the day, this I is still use. That's this why I still a, use the same wallet my father gave me. It's the backstory Jesus of him Christ. giving it to me. I like it. It's ugly, but I like it. <laughs> then we have the figure <laughs> rise standard of Pi Two. And she's from Zeta, right? Yes, she is from Zeta. Yeah, she she's from Zeta. She, matter of fact, if you recognize her, she's also from Unicorn, not Pi Two. Yeah, I think but uh, she's no four. She's four, right? No, no, no. Four has a uh, 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 pink hair. She she dies early on. Uh, Pal two is yeah. a clone that made by the um, remnants of Titans and, and end up the Neo Zeon. Essentially, uh, Marita Cruz from Unicorn. Yeah. She's one of the clones as well. I can't remember what number she was. I think she was twelve. Was twelve. I think it was twelve. Twelve. I, I could be wrong. Then we have the promotional video of the two point coming out in August. Since the birth of Gunpla has pursued realism as mobile suits. 2009, we drive. I almost bought this too the other day. I said, ah, they might get me. I, I need, I, I did say, oh man, I need another. I need a, I want a, I want a RX real great. I was a Hobby Lobby. was like, ah, nah, I, I, it's, it's a terrible kipper. Then the band I was like, what, what, what's like, the well, saying? McDonald's was like, I'm on your beer. beer. You're too big for the kids meal, and then they came out with the mighty kids meal. This is what this is. This is a mighty kids meal. Mm -hmm. This is a mighty kids meal. This look is as best, better than any master grade has been out. This is a mighty kids meal. Look at the art. That's a that's a more that's a ninety degree bit. I mean, a hundred almost. A, look at the waist, so. man. I mean, I, I think the hot the new the they can do that same bin, right? Peace, my follow. No, no, not that new. The new new. Dang, the head looks great, but then you just look right down at the shoulders. It's too big, man. Everything else is. I mean, but look at I appreciate it, you. I know you're gonna freak. You gonna get in freak it. 
I'm fine with my my origin. I've I've three grand, I've only built three grenades in my life, and that's probably a new reel has a rock. Come on, Jack. That looks amazing. And the trailer sold me. Oh, now I look at the panel lining on that armor too. I wasn't expecting now the panel lining is going up. The yeah. guys who scribe were questioning panel lining. I don't mind scribing because I, I need I need Coop, I need there not to be panel lines so I can scribe. You, I can't it. scribe it now because there's there's no room. Next, next up we have this series that's still making kits. This looks dope. I'm not gonna lie. This is I like this. Masquerades, but yeah, th- it looks good for sure. This is the good. name of the series CD Kokai Sinki. Kokai Sinki. Why does it look Lord like a 30 minute water. mission? It doesn't look like a 30 minute mission. Kokai he got the hard points on the legs. I was gonna say, just because he got, got a hard point. It, I mean, it has a one, hard two, point. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see seven. Cool. Seven. On a seven. one set. This is the smaller one. This isn't the big one. This is the high grade size. Seven hard points on the front alone. Yeah. And I and see got exactly. One. And I see everywhere I can put the armor. I'm not going to lie. Some Gundam kits have about seven hard points. Exactly. And I don't have any one of them. I got one. I got two. I got three, four. That's an entry grade. Five, six. I know. <laughs> seven, eight. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nine, ten. Ten. Look, look, look at the back. That's three right there. Four. Oh, he grasping straws now. <laughs> this looks like a 30 minute mission. Okay. Does it does it not if they said th- if they slept 30 minute mission on that, would you not go? The, the, oh yeah, that's 30 the, minutes. The, the, the strange thing is you're saying that as if it's a bad thing. It's like it's like you're co- it's like you're going out and being like, man. You do strive 30 minute mission. I don't. Exactly. Exactly. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I Damn. love this. Shit. This is great. This is great. And then they had to put the hole right there on a crotch like that, yo. The gun looks dope. You can get this and put this with the Spartan. Mm-hmm. Get two of them. Hmm. Now, get it with my... I have the blue one and the white one. I'm going to make all three of them together. Mm. Some more kits there. Just a, awesome. kind of like a recap. Now, we here we go with the armor core. Armor core at the bottom. That bottom right, though? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll have the people out on Spotify. What is that bottom right? Okay. Uh, so in Armor Core, uh, there's a guy. I'm forgetting his name right now. And of course, I'm beginning the suit as well. But he keeps calling you your buddy. And it's probably one of the best characters in the game. And his suit is sick as F. Uh, this suit, I mean, I keep, I keep blanking on the name, of course. But um, we're getting Armor just... Core kit from the 30 minute mission lines. Uh, and the one kit, the what's his name? The man who keeps coming to help you out. I keep forgetting his. I, I keep forgetting his name because I just can't remember. You're asking name. us like we play it, Jack. Uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm not asking you guys. I'm, uh. I'm talking to my brain that's full of Ace Combat references. <laughs> so every time I hear someone say "buddy," I just think of Solo Wing Pixie from Ace Combat Zero, and that's not him. So I'm just gonna call him Pixie. <laughs> Pixie shows up, and. He is amazing, and his suit is awesome, and it's coming out. I actually kind of really want this. All right, I, this this event was more exciting for me than I think I think for y'all. Oh yeah, and we get the Rigazi 2.0 just in the Shars the counter attack yep. updated inner frame. P Banda, right? So, yes, Gundam, well well, Gundam, Gundam based limited. No, it's it's Gundam based limited. Uh, so it might come to P Banda, it may not. Yeah, it's going to be P Banda. All the side Fs have been. Psycho Doga. So besides Verkaz, P Bandai is the now the new home of Master Grade. Well, no, this is a side F, which makes it P Bandai. The Gara Doga. So every other Psycho Master Doga Grade besides Verkaz will be. This might be the first side F Master Grade. No, yeah. no, no. Side F real Master Grade. Real Grades is the new Gundam, right? The new Gundam in the size will be real Grades. Then they dropped the Hizak. Isn't the Hizak side F? I think there's Blue. one even before that. There's then they did the Psycho Doga. There's and variations that's... of Master Grades that are just side F. So there's variation like the Nodlay. That's just side F. Um, then there's the uh mm. the metallic faz. That's just side F. Like no, that's not the... side F. The metallic faz? That's that you're thinking of Gundam Expo. Side F is a story. 
it's a story i thought it's a store no it's a story it like on the um hijack don't they got somebody's name up there or the psycho doga one of them has somebody's name up there like it's that blue one blue it's blue. a the side f is a story what you're thinking about is gundam store limited which gives you the nautile which gives you the uh, metallic fives which gives us like the clear um full mechanics mechanical clear sanaju that's the store the gundam expo store with the blue logo yeah with the blue logo oh, okay this is yeah. i think a story a side f story because i remember why, why is the rigazi in the story what it's a because Kamuro i suit. think psycho zaku gundam side f is a story themed after the gundam franchise is what it says on google i want to assume that it's a play to what's the name of the movie shards counterattack because the psycho doga is in the shards counterattack book you talking about this one too with the name on it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Jew kaju custom Oh, you're t memory of side F ace pilot log is what Coop's talking yeah, about. Yeah, side F is like an MSV. If I'm yeah, correctly. a story. Yeah, why is why is this here? This isn't an MSV. Only, this only is thing I know is too. the side F psycho doga is what old boy is piloting in the manga right now. I, I get that the white one with the big head with looks like he's trying wearing a sailor man. Cap. Yeah, yeah. Look, why is this in side F? This doesn't make any sense. This is just a regular is this suit. Not, is this not like a Amaro just pilots this? This is just a regular suit. This is given to him just out the blue. It's a grunt. Yeah, it's literally just a refined Zeta. It literally that's what Riga Z stands for, refined Zeta. Mm -hmm. And it's just a cheaper Zeta Gundam that they gave him. And Amaro Maybe pilots it. it and is this not like the Riga Z in that story then? No, I'm it's the one in Char's counterattack. We, as a matter of fact, this exact kit we got earlier as a P Bandai kit, it's the unicorn kit. They just recolored it. I'm going to assume, dog, that this is going off of the um, manga that's been released. I mean, this comes out. They got three mangas coming out. Two more but mangas coming out this he, year. In the manga, he this is different. A anyway, yeah. Anyway, we spent too much time trying to figure out a kit we aren't going to buy. <laughs> <laughs> then we got the clear uh, MGSD Freedom. Bye. No, you buying it? No, maybe this. The frame, this the frame has a clear pieces too. Oh, it does. I think so. When I saw the picture, like yeah, like. That's oh not, yeah, I see some some of them have clear pieces. Yeah, like milky cream pieces. Uh, right. I, I mean, I can paint it. I can paint it, but milky cream is sick. I I do like this. Might be the only clear kit I like. It does look good though. It does look good. Caliburn permit score five. Full mechanic a, aerial, what a Gundam universe. Actually. This was monstrosity of it. Yeah, look at skeleton. Wild. This looks wild. The fact that it's up there looking like a funnel is that what it's supposed? Three beam sabers it's with like three a, beam sabers. But it's supposed to. I'm assuming it's, uh, it's supposed to give off like that funnel esque look. Looks mm. terrible. Mm -hmm. Easy eight. The guy who designed the Easy eight. So, That's the one you were talking about earlier. Coop, the standard armor. Oh, yeah, 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 standard armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. G line standard armor. More photos from it. Are armor you, core. Armor core. This look. Are these gonna be small kits? Yeah, this is called yeah. the Ruby King Schneider. Nice, That's nice. Ni <laughs> that looks like a tiny kit compared to this the base. So, like, if you see like a regular thirty minute, not thirty minute mission. If you see a regular high grade, it's going to be just slightly, and I mean slightly, about the size of this. Maybe a little bit shorter. Mm. Yeah. If not, no. Yeah, maybe a little bit shorter. Here we go, people. Let's let me run it back. Let me run. Do I have to play sound with it? Should I play sound with it? Mm -hmm. All right. So next up, we have well, this is the armor enhancement plans for the new gundam that we're off we're doing a gofundme for for we're doing Austin. both my house okay. all, Austin's yeah. name on the box my house I, I have the new you have the sazabi correct but on we're cd's funding it. It. yeah oh, wow. but i think all the <laughs> gofundme comes here next CD up got that new job <laughs> he can fund it <laughs> let me go ahead and um pause the music to this let me go ahead and pause the music to this turn it down for a little bit Let's go ahead and look at this trailer. First time live reaction from me because I'm not one an extremist. 
Okay, how do we um, get the volume? Oh, here we go. Here we go. At the bottom. Need those mobile suits on the ground now! Deploy a 42 Delta 9! Red Wolves are on the ground. It's the Red Wolves! They took out three fleets of moon! Captain Eri Solari? Sir. You ever see a Zaku up close? Not like this. But the Principality of Zeon will spread across the Earth! Something bothering you, Cap? I don't know. I've just got a bad feeling about all this. <laughs> What the hell is that? Hassan, we need to give our allies some cover. We didn't have to kill them. This is war, Doc. Sasso then. What's your name? Commander Heat Man. Second Lieutenant Heat. I'm Second Lieutenant Haley Arhan, First Armored Infantry. Wait! The U.R.C. A doctor is Red Wolf Squadron doing. Captain Zydos. Zaku two. Red Ruby. That goof fly type's cold. That best proportion looking kid in the whole show. So it makes me wonder: Are there more Gundams in this show? Mobile suits, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be. I think they're going to give us the gun cannon, a variation of the gun cannon. What's, what's the Federation GM looking like? Because you know, there's a mm. Mm. I don't know, fellas. That animation is tough. <laughs> then watch when they fall out the sky. Look how bad the motherfuckers look, bro. <laughs> I ain't never seen a just a break. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, just a brick. That man, man. Uh, Ooh, go ahead, Austin. That, that shot right there of her. Oh, when they were talking, and he was, she was like, "What's your name?" He was just like standing at like a video game, like I'm supposed to press A or B. <laughs> I'm like, God, the goofs look good though. Gundam in the dark shots. Crazy, with the beam saber at the end. Crazy. The, it it did look kind of like when it, when a plane was coming in. I was like, "Yo, they got that thing looking like it's a a, mo a monstrosity, like right. a PG on a H a HG di like a diorama." I'm like, <laughs> "Yo, come on now, RX ain't that supposed to be that? You know, right here. Look how big he is. Com like compare, like yo." Oh, and right damn. there, look, I'm supposed to press A. <laughs> <laughs> Nina selected your person. This is your team. Uh, uh, Austin, you sitting up there quiet, Jack. What you thinking? Goof flight type. When it comes out, though, when that kit comes out, well, that, that's fly. not a flight type. That was just a goof. Goof custom. A goof regular goof, goof custom. custom. You're right. Yeah. It's going to fly off the shelves. It's mm. going to fly off the shelves. Hot takes? I think it flops in Japan. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah, lops. Yeah. And that's yeah. it for um what's new. We're gonna talk for about the trailer right now. Yeah. Initial thoughts? For what it's worth, I'll take it. I'm happy my, for more Gundam, but my mind wants to know how good the story is gonna be and compare. Is this this is obviously not a retelling of the story? Mm -hmm. Right. So I want to know how much how much it's six 30 minute episodes. Six 30 minute episodes, but how much they're going to be like, oh, the red comet up in outer space is blow. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's what timeline is this falling? Is this like that's what has me interested? If they're like, yo, this is like while Char is doing something else, like why he has a Zaku just got the Zaku too, or whatever. Like, so if they don't mention that at all, are you going to be upset? A little bit. Because they would have dropped the ball on people trying to learn more of the lore. 
and bringing more people in. That's kind of like if you did Star Wars and didn't mention like Vader or Anakin or Luke. That'd be kind of wild. I think the opposite. You think I hope, they, be, don't. I hope they don't. Uh, and it's just for the next series. No, it's awesome. Go, go ahead. I, I want them to give us more. Don't be confused now, dog. You had all them, you was about all them spoilers you about to drop about 30 minutes ago. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, um, uh, Gundam still looks pretty bad, which is why they only show it in shadow, which is smart. And it was always a night scene, it's never during the day. That thing's not standing out in the middle of broad daylight. Hell no. Uh, the goofs look dope. Um, the characters and the pro the problem with this story is that it's another one year war story, and that we have so many one year war stories that now it's starting to get kind of hard to keep up, really, in my opinion. Uh, like it would have been dope if this was oh, I guess it's a one year one story, a one year war story on Earth, which eighth MS team, eighth MS team, and what else? That's it. Uh, exactly no, 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 slave wraiths, um, all the video games, uh, Igloo, yeah. Igloo, um, the shoot, we follow the white dingo squad. We, we we follow a lot of teams on Earth, and this is just now another team, but from the Zeta side. I don't know. I mean, eh, mm, I, I gotta see what's it about. I, I I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of I guess Universal Century Gundam movies that from the Xeon perspective anyway. So for me, like Igloo was okay. okay. Igloo is okay. I did not like Igloo. Yeah, I, I I don't know. It looks all right to me. It, it looks all right. I I I, uh, I got nothing else really to say. It, it You're gonna right. watch it. I'm gonna watch it. We're all gonna probably. Watch it. I might watch it. I might not. Me, me, I, I'm watching that shit. Me, yeah. just, so I can laugh. It'll be top ten on. It'll be top huh? ten on Netflix. Top ten? Well, of course it will. When it comes out, it's Gundam. It's, it's gonna be top ten on Netflix regardless. It's gonna be top ten on Netflix. It's gonna be top ten, yeah. Which is good, obviously. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of if they don't mention Shaw, well, that, that doesn't mean it's good. That just means it's out. It's it's popular. I'm not saying it's good. What I'm saying yeah. is what what makes it good if it did top ten is the fact that if people that only watch Netflix and go, oh, what is this? Because it's in the top ten and it brings more people into Gundam. You see what I mean? Like imagine if you're scrolling for a show and you turn on Netflix and that shit is pick three in the United States. A lot of people do that. You know, they'll just click always oh, top in the United States and just watch whatever because everybody's probably watching and talking about it. Oh, you mean so, like good exposure for Gundam? Oh, yeah, good yeah, yeah, yeah. exposure. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It, it would really drop the ball if they don't mention like Shaw and somehow get people. The reason why, because if I'm sitting up there and I'm like, yo, this is dope, right? Mm -hmm. I know about Gundam from Gundam Wing. But now, if they don't mention like Shar, like if they mention Shar, right, I could then be like, "Yo, okay, let me go watch Origins. Let me go find his Origins." Like, it, like the that's one I reason I like would, all the. I think the, that would uh, hurt the story year. though. You for for so? newcomers, for you don't want to overwhelm them with too much lore because then newcomers will feel overwhelmed. Like I don't know if I can get into this because there's so many people that I've never heard of that I keep dropping hints about that I need to go read. And now, essentially, you have a movie How? giving people homework. How is this be a little bit too much? How would that be different? And I'm just asking because I, I haven't watched them. How would that be different from new people that went and watched the newer trilogy of Star Wars? Mm. Did they drop? Did they drop crazy lore in that? No, no, no. no. In, in Star Wars, they actually didn't drop almost a lot of war, lore at all because they just assume people have already seen Star Wars that they but know. New, the, the but gist. they have to have newcomers, right? They have to if they well, drop in six, seven, eight. Well, yeah, but I mean, they just assume, hey, you've seen, you know, Darth Vader is the bad guy. You know that he's Luke's father. You know that he died. Like, we're, like, like they're, they're getting past, like, you know, the Empire is the bad guys. Like, we, like, we're not going to dwell. They're tomorrow, assuming they've, you've already established. But for a newcomer, yeah. though, mm -hmm. for a newcomer, is that a lot of, is that not contradicting what you just said about the Gundam? If, if somebody that doesn't know Star Wars and they watch the, the new trilogy, would they be overwhelmed by the Lord? No, but they don't do lore dumps though. Like, like there's that's what in Star Wars, there's not lore dumps. In this movie, I'm, I don't think there's going to be lore dumps either. I think you're right. There'll be just tippets. That's all I ask for. I, that's all I, I ask for. If they I, say, I think it would be even better if it was a self-contained story that deals with its own issues, its own stuff, and doesn't yeah. really reference too much of what's going on anywhere else than other. Than Correct. That. Like AFMS team. AFMS team didn't mention anything about Shar. I think only thing they had from the main universal century line was the speech was the speech in um didn't gato get a speech in um eighth ms team not not that 
it was on TV. But they they, talked, about it. they, he, they it. talked about it. That was it. I think because they watched it. They watched your presentation of the um, of um, what Gato was screaming at. I'm fine with that. I don't want nothing more. Just give that's me, it. That's all give, I ask for. Give me one mention, and that's I, 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 I want to be brand new. Just like in um, War in a Pocket. This this mobile suit is meant for uh, one of the new types in space. I knew it was Armoro. That's it. It makes people go, yo, who are they talking about? I'll back out. That's all. I don't need, you know, previously on Gundam. You know, I, <laughs> like, you I don't need, need the road credits before the show starts. Nah, I don't need none of that. None of that. I just, I just need a mention here or there for somebody to go, who is that? Like, if they like, yo, you got a lot of kills, but I heard the dude in the, the red comet up in space is going crazy. So do you they think we're in the live action? Or is this, are we gonna be, are we getting this based on how well this does? I wish it was live action. The animation we're, is terrible. We're supposed to be getting live action Gundam, but I don't know. I wish it was. I wish it was. I wish it was live action. That was we'll see. hard. Yeah, it was terrible. What, what you thinking, Austin? I I don't uh, I don't want a live action. Uh, I don't, I don't want a CG Gundam. I would prefer if this was two D animation, honestly. <laughs> yeah, but then that would give you everything that you already got. It'd just be a new Hathaway movie. I'll be you know, good with that. I, I would take another Hathaway movie. I would, I, I would gladly take Hathaway two before. This. Now, if they gave me the Gundam looking like Ready Player One, then I'm all for it. If they give me a real life Gundam. That had the Ready Player One animation. I'll take it. Apparently, some of the CGI, I, I, I mean, some of the live action Gundam, I think they're basing off the Ready Player One Gundam. Like that's the CGI fine. Of that, so that should be good. Yeah, if it's like that, and it says, uh, I wouldn't want a retelling. I wouldn't want a retelling if it is a live action. It's gonna be a retelling. They're gonna split up in three movies. Part one. You know them all the way to Jaburo, then Jaburo all the way to Ada, and then back to space is the third movie, and then <laughs> Lala's dying and yada yada yada. <laughs> That's gonna be the third movie. But yeah, no, this movie, I don't know, I don't know. This movie it comes in the I, fall. We'll see. I was excited, but you know what? I'll tell you this: every trailer I've seen has made me less and less excited. I don't know if I'm gonna watch this. Damn. Dog, what? Yeah, the goof at the end didn't make you go. Oh, I need to peek that scene. I, I like it, but here's the thing: I don't have to watch the movie. I just saw it. <laughs> I, I want to know who, but I kind of want to know who's piling it. If it's, if it's a, Rumble it's a goof. Yeah, if it's a their version of Rumble Raw, right? Because the goof, granted, unless they're trying to, if they make the goof a grunt suit, but I mean, because like it was it, what three of them, right? Then three goofs gonna, drop down. Yeah, but I mean, so and this is this is going to be hard for me to describe. So this is just me. I, everybody listening out there, the, take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt because this is just me. Um, I don't see any of that as it matters because the one year war has already been told. We already know what's going to happen. Either these people die or they live, but they're never going to come back into the Gundam story, right? It, mm -hmm. It's over. Universal Century is done. We're good. Like, the, I don't know why I need a prequel. It's like Rogue One. They all died at the end. And Star Wars to go back to Star Wars. In Rogue One, they all died at the end. Well, no, duh. That's why we never saw any of them. So why did I care <laughs> about their story at all? Well, it was for the ride. Well, I know the ride ends with nothing. <laughs> so with the, just regular stuff happening. I, I don't see know. what you're saying. I, I see this and I'm just like, well, they're all going to either die or they might live. The, the Rumble Roll is going to be in there, but he's going to die eventually. It, it was, I'm looking at all these guys. I'm like, here's all the prequel people that you saw. Don't you? It's like a, it's like Marvel now these days. Uh, you remember this name? You know this guy. You know this person. He's like, yes, I do. I've seen them before. I, I yeah, I've I see what she's saying. Time. It just depends on the story, though, man. If they did give me like Rumble Roll, and it would, and it gives you the reason why he likes blue or something like that, like, but like his opinion. But why would that? Why is that important? Like, it's not important. It's just like, it's like, like, like for for some people, I get it. That that is that is legitimately interesting for me. I like the I, 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 crossovers. I couldn't care less why he likes. I like blue. the crossovers. I, I, I like the fact that he likes blue. I don't need to know why. So it feels like dope way of finding out. Whatever it was like, yo, my mom. I mean, yeah, you, you can always blue. make a dope idea or story behind anything. But what I mean is, like, I don't know, man. What am I going to use a tower or two hours to figure out why he likes blue or why this happened or something like that? I don't care. It all depends I, on I, it. I, I, I just don't care. Make something saying. new. 
But that's the thing. They give you something new. They give it's you the old. IBO. The IBO. It, but new. That's how they're selling it. It's it's old, but it's new. It, it, it's uh, something we all know. I don't think, I don't think they're ever going to make anything outside of Universal Century. Seed. That's the thing. The, a, seed, gonna seed. a live action seed. Live, yeah, they made live action plays out of it. They can make a live action. Yeah, play out of it. it's the most, it's the most successful Gundam series besides UC. That's Might what I'm well. saying. I don't think they're going to branch out of UC when they, when they, when they think about when they do like collaborations. How often, do, like, you think it's a McDonald's seed burger, like Big Mac? Yep. Yeah, that's happened before. They, oh. they've done mobile Gundam seed collaborations. We just seen the Dune poster with the seed on it. Remember? Yeah, with seed. Yeah, but that, but, seed. but that's was that fan art. What I'm talking about is like they know their bread and butter. Bandai knows their bread and butter is that you see. I and think they don't have to break out of that. It, but yeah. that, I don't think they want our, to. Our party is beating their ass. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they, <laughs> their party is beating their yeah. ass. The Solomon, the reports of the Solomon out, and even with some of the flaws. Like it's still people are saying it's I mean, pretty I sent you guys good. a picture of that. I don't know what mo- monstrosity it was, but it was an MGSD third party. If they can master that, mm. like Bandai's hard headed. We control everything, but like these these third party lines is beating the ass. And that's it. Cover. And that goes into our last topic of the night. We kind of ran this one pretty lengthy, but I hope y'all enjoyed. Comment down below what y'all think of is the movie the or Gundams, the, the movie Gundam Netflix. What y'all comments on it? So, next up, speaking of third parties, we got game changers versus game managers. What kits change the game versus what kits are just placeholders? We're going to throw some kits out there. Some we feel like that might have been your know, revolutionary, that, you know, without this kit, it wouldn't, it, it was the pivot, I should say. Or did we throw some kits out there and be like, yeah. It's a placeholder. It's it, it here. Bandai heard people like Austin and say we don't get master grades. Let's just give a master grade. The biggest example of that, I think we could all agree on, as a placeholder, is that Dom, right? We get is the, the Rick Dom and the uh, Rick and the Dom, oh, the, any, the most any, recent one, the point five, the point five. That's <laughs> that is obviously a game manager. Like that's just to keep everybody at bay, be right. happy. And like, it'd be go. petty enough to give us two versions of it, it at seventy dollars a piece, All right? Like so, yeah. There you go. So, what are some awesome? What do you think is a game changer of a kit? What kit mm. that you? We'll, we'll hold off on third party. We'll do third party. We'll go around. We'll do band guy, and then we'll do third party. Uh, game changer as a kit. Um, I would probably have to say any high grade origins line particularly the first one because they changed the game and and not in the way of just detailing and the amount of stuff you get in the kit and stuff like that uh they changed the game as in how now it's okay to charge 35 dollars for high grades <laughs> it used to be 15 dollars for high grades we all remember those days right yeah high grades for 15 bucks <laughs> now 21 is the standard right and if it's an origin tag on it, get ready to pay a little bit extra. 27, maybe 35 if they give you all those extra. I was gonna say, I don't think any, any origin kit now is under $28. I think everything Ex- is. Exactly. So it's a kit maybe that's the earlier it's, kits. Yeah. It's the maybe kit you might mess around and find okay. like the Zaku. My fault, Austin. Maybe you might mess around and find like the Zaku 2 for 25, 24.99. The green one, you might you might mess around and find like the gun cannon. The uh, Iron Calvary, oh, like that's, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. that might be it. But I can't no remember mainstays. seeing an origin kit that's under eighteen, for mm-hmm. example, right? Not so anymore. I, I I think that changed the game as in it successfully tests the waters, as in what is people what are people willing to pay for an entry level kit or mm. making a new market area for people who want high grades but more pricey high grades, and uh, yeah, that 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 was a game changer for them. Then that that was and it was successful. So now we, now we all pay more money. For to be money. honest with you, now that you bring that up, Austin, that might be the number one game changer. Then I didn't think about it from that perspective. You know, changing the money for Bandai, it changed the game on high grades, probably right, and it also changed the game in two, three, four, right. One, the detail. I don't think that 
I don't think any high grade outside of these new movie ones. And, I, and, and y'all both said they're too much detail, right? Too much detail. But the origin kits change the game and not just the price, but also the detail and articulation. I don't think that every high grade after that will be compared to the origins high grade. Any any origins high grade. Yeah, the, Somebody the only, like, go ahead. The only thing the origin high grade gets beat on is posability. That was the only thing. And and I I've, I've said it before that uh that blue destiny I forgot how good the posability on those updated R revive high say, grades could are. Could you say that in the revive? I think the the granddaddy one ninety one was the first revive kit. You can mm -hmm. say that was considered to be the first game engine because every high grade Gundam silhouette is based on that. So the GMs, the ground types, the Titans, Mark IIs, all those come from the Gundam. And their, and their posability is amazing. The fact that you can do splits with almost all of them, yeah. you can perform the splits. It was the first one to not have insane. the the ball joint type of uh, waist. Mm -hmm. mm. So I think. It, Ah oh, man, you think it beats out the articulation? Yeah, I guess because it's not a lot of pieces in a way. It's kind of like the origins, they kind of like the back calf, the thigh. It gets a little too chunky to where the smoothness on the revive kits, you could probably get a little bit more bend and a little bit more posability out of the revive one. So you might be right, Austin. You might be right. But I, I but like I was saying the the origins line itself origins yeah. line itself is game changer absolutely city what you got as a game changer um i got two for you first okay. one being real grade ava line i believe that is a game changer because that showed bandai that they uh, can be successful with something other than gundam and that spurred eight more avas two gal gagars and i'm sure uh, my pat labor and some other else will be coming down the pipe i feel you Okay. That and then um entry grade it was a game changer. It brought a whole new group of people into the hobby. Um up at our hobby show up here, Cobra Prob got a 15 high grades or entry grades, and people were snapped them up in 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Fame okay, that's good. Move. I was about to ask you that. How do you like how many people do you think that are new that actually grab an entry grade? I gave my niece one and now she's asking for more. That's good. I gave Ari one. She was <clears throat> that was the cool part is, there's barely any nubs, even though you don't need nippers. Mm -hmm. When you when you're just pushing out your fingers, it does barely any nubs. So you still get a good looking kit. I really wish I could see the poll of how many people's first kit coming into the hobby would be an entry grade, even though it's called entry grade. Like it's meant for y'all and y'all passion. Like is Bandai investing too much money or trying to look more into calling it entry because how easy it is and how quick you can assemble rather than like a practice kit you know what i'm saying like how many of these entry grade kits that you picked up cd or you know people that have picked up austin that have used it for i want to take it and go all the way with it you know just like cobra plan he did with his new gundam right i haven't seen anyone come in and be like yo i'm new to the hobby i picked up this entry grade kit I seen more advanced builders get that and push the limits with it rather than the entry who it's meant for, I should say. So mm. it's always it's people. always sort of a Mahabi town. Yeah. Which is wild. Yeah, which is yeah, which is a good thing. I think my ours sell out pretty decent too, but I just don't know how many people that come in and say, yo, I'm a new person, I don't know anything about Gundams. What kit should I get? And they actually get that kit and not a high grade, you know. It'd be a fun little st statistic yeah, to look at. Yeah. Um, with me, when it comes to some game changer kits, I think that the new Gundam real grade and the size of be real grade changed the game of real grades in general. I think those are the is what pushed Bandai and and it won over the some. And one over people that like high grades, but wanted master grades. And then people that like master grades 
Usually the people that stand to the side of masteries, i.e. Austin, there's something there's something else that plays a part into it. Like the small pieces, like oh my hands. Austin's a bigger guy, right? So I can understand my hands aren't but so big. CD, you're a bigger guy. So when people complain about the hand size, I truly don't know. I truly don't know when they say, Oh, these pieces are too small for me to mess with. Um, but I think both of those change the game of how bandai makes real grades the expectation of real grades from this point on it has to be damn near master grade s level to where the how good rgs are kind of take took away from the mgsd line there wasn't really nothing surprising for me to go oh the mgsd line has an inner frame at the at an sd size because I was, I just said, oh, it's a shorter real grade at that point. So I think that without that real grade, and especially without those two real grades in particular, I don't think the, you know, um, the, like the, it would be a higher expectation, a higher excitement. I think for MGSDs, I think a lot more people won't even be probably buying them due to the fact of like the size. I think a lot of people buy. The MGSDs now because they know how a, how a real grade will work. For sure, game changer of a kit. I think it even might have hurt Bandai's Master Grade market because it was, it was so successful because they gave you the size of the Master Grade. Mm-hmm. No, that, price. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, mm. And then also the real grade itself being articulation. Uh, especially past those two, obviously the earlier ones um, filled with articulation and pieces falling off. But with the Sazabi and the new Gundam and everything that came after that, I don't think there's been a bad real grade after that. You, it, it, I mean, throw one out there. You could say the unicorn. I, I don't build real grades, real grades. So I, 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 unicorn might be it, but that's because you're watching. You're not building it the right way. See a lot of those snapping shit. Yeah, and Dude, then okay. it transforms a lot. It does a lot of gimmicks. The but last, that'll be it. Yeah, and the last real grade I ever built was the high new gun, and I I loved it. So, I mean, and you I enjoyed love. that, right? Yeah, yeah I love it. It's a gun. great, it's a great looking kit. It's a great looking build by you, and all the third party kits it's pieces, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I mean that. I think that's the last. That's the only one I ever built. I, I would have to build more real grades to really understand. No, I, I, I'm. That's one area I'm just lacking. I just don't build a lot of them, and uh, that's because, like Coop said, I'm a master grade guy. So yeah. every time I look at the real grade, I would have to. Well, I, I cannot buy a master grade kit if I buy that. So let me go buy the master grade kit first. And if it's leftovers, something I like, I'll pick that up. Um, but no, I mean, I you know, I have one though for game management though. Was that? One that that was meant to be a game changer, and in a way, it did change the game. But now I feel like it's slowly starting to become a game manager, and that's Bandai's Thirty Minute Mission Sisters. And hmm. these were meant to be the cheaper fight to Koto Bakia's Frame Arm Girls or Mega Gummy Devices, because Bandai saw Koto Bakia mm-hmm. as a threat. Um, that girl market was snatching up market share, and because they were more pricey, people were voting with their wallets. Do I spend more money and get a lot more stuff in the box, or do I spend less money and get just this stuff in the box? And people were going to get the girl kit. So Bandai was like, We'll just make a girl kit line. And when it came out, it was selling out everywhere. It was number one sold, I think, plastic model kit for 2000 and 2020. 20 or maybe 19 right during the pandemic time um but now it's been years and they're still releasing 30 minute mission sister kits but you barely see too many people talk about them or yeah too many customs that you've seen build up and here's the <clears throat> kicker with them a lot of them are now starting to become more expensive almost as much as the frame arm girl kits so now the very market share that they're trying to do which was be an entry cheaper level frame arm girl is now no longer valid now it's just as expensive and not a lot of people are customizing them and and you figure out to customize it you have to spend way more money because to buy all the accessories then you should have got more to begin with at that point and you could have just gotten the koto bakia kit right off the bat 
get everything plus extra parts because they right. give you a bunch of uh, leftover parts. They're extra every time uh, in the box. So now is it is it because? And I'm sorry to cut you off. No, no, sorry. Uh, I'm not really versed in the girl kit realm. Is it because maybe Frame Arms girls do come out with like some main like some main hitters when it comes to kits like the Wonder Woman, the uh Dark Magician girl? I mean, is that could that be yeah. a reason if I'm not building if I'm not into girl kits and I see a girl kit like the Dark Magician girl, mm -hmm. I might get it because I know the Dark Magician girl. I know Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, now I built this kit and now I can stumble upon. I know Wonder Woman. I like Wonder Woman. I now found this kit and I can stumble upon more. Has nah, 30 Minute I, Missions dropped a kit like that? Sisters. Nah, I, I, I highly doubt that. It, matter of fact, the Wonder Woman kit was actually not very successful when it came to Kotobukiya. They actually re-released recently a new color version of it. Now everyone's saying that eh, that might sit for a while. But the reason why, honestly, is because of this. I, this is a Megami device. This is a kit that cost me maybe 50 bucks. But everything on there came with it. Now, you can't see it because the camera, but she even gets a headset, like a headset yeah. with a microphone that could, CD's wearing, right? She gets uh, the cool gun, uh, the backup, the holographic uh, parts. Inside here, these little holes are little 3D uh, clear parts. So there's clear parts riddled all throughout this kit. There's a huge amount of complexity. Inside this leg, is about the same amount of parts as about maybe half a high grade. So you're looking at essentially a high grade in her legs, right? And not only that, but I can take these legs off and just put on regular girl legs. Or if I want to, and those are in the box, by the way, those regular girl legs are in the box. Or you can get the oops, you can get the uh, school girl kits, right? Still a little bit pricey, but they come with a bunch of stuff in the box, including like this kneeling pose or sitting pose, uh, the box, the books, everything that you could ask for. Um, and all that for 50 bucks. And the thing is, is that the 30 minute mission sisters, what you see is essentially this. And this I had to actually combine with another 30 minute mission set. Well, actually two option part sets. So I spent 15, then 10, then 10. So I spent the same amount of money. And do you see what how little less I get? Yeah. So th this is pretty much the reason why. Um, on the surface, it looks like a good idea. But then as you play the game, you realize you've been goofed. Yeah. been duped a little bit uh so no i i think that that's a game manager they're just releasing 30 minute mission sisters because currently they continue to sell with the same people who are already you know, invested yeah, yeah invested into that 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 ecosystem but the second you want to get out of it and you just go back to the code of ikea stuff and you realize sure there might be a limited amount of stuff but you can still paint do all those other things and they offer a little bit more of a challenge uh yeah 30 minute mission sisters has in my opinion kind of fell down a little bit of a, a hill okay city what you got you got a game manager for us or a game changer i have a game changer once again i'm gonna go with the master grade strike um i believe that that is the game changer because every strike every shoot after that was based on the frame of the strike uh, this, is the, this is the 2.0 version so what bandai did was go in here and do a full remold of the suit the inner frame and it was so successful well i mean in a way because the other thing, you know, they, they sell metal parts for it now because the frame wasn't that great. But the frame was great enough for it to build, I don't know, seven, eight more kids on top of that frame. Um, the Destiny, all the Destiny Gundams, all the, the 2.0s are all based off of this. Uh, and the price point, 50 bucks comes with the suit, backpack, and the launch pad. And I feel like it's one of the last Gundams to come with, like, a launch pad at that price. Or even with a hanger even, set, yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah. So, and, and so on top what, of that, the only the only kit that needed the metal parts was the freedom, the, and the yeah. freedom was technically a different was half of that suit, but right. the hip joints were different, so that's what needed. It. But everything else on the RM, which is the remaster strike, um, was an absolute masterpiece. The ale strike was the only part that probably could use some help, but tighten up the joints and you're fine. Uh, it 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 literally made the entire seed line possible. The entire, in my opinion, the best master grade line possible. Because those ones were unstoppable. Until Bandai gets off their butts and make an Origin Zaku Master Grade, the the seed line is the best Master Grade line right now. The best master, master Grade line. I don't know if I don't know if any seed kit will be ranked. That's another discussion in a top five. Top five a, it, as a Master of Grade what? in a Master Grade line. We just we just got done talking about one. 
No, you think so? You putting that in the top five masquerades? And not only that, I'm putting the the freedom in there as well. <laughs> yeah, that and the freedom. I don't. I don't own a lot of masquerades, but I think that's probably the best one. Beats out the Oryx Origins. No, Origins in the top five too. Yeah. Yep. Or, yeah. It goes always. Yeah. We'll talk I, about. I, that I think it's better than the barber yeah, really. It's better than the Sanan. It's better than. Mm, I don't know better if it's better. Sinanju. I haven't yeah, built definitely better than Sinanju. I haven't built the barber but I want. But just off the hype alone, barber isn't in the top five. Barber is a great master grade. That inner frame is beautiful. If it's your cup of tea, it's your cup of tea, and its posability, movability looks great. Definitely deserves a space in the top five. Now, will it get one? Don't know. It's up there with the strike. I'm not saying it like it's miles better, but sure, I'll even put it in the top five with it. I didn't yeah, like so it that me, much, but, but let me it, ask, you, let me ask you this CD off of that game changer. Then, if we're going to place it up there because of the frame, does the double O kits get up there? Then are those game managers or game changers? I, I, I'd honestly tell you that those double O kit frames are birth babies of that strike frame. What came out first? The strike. The strike. The strike the 2.0 frame if i remember correctly yeah As a matter of fact so much so that the original exia with the ankles problems had to be re remolded yeah. off of the strike using to make the better one yeah okay okay i hear it i think um some game managers stuff that will hold you over um if i had to think of a kit i, I was going to do a line i was going through 30 minute missions in general um, but if I have to think of a kit that will hold you over that they've recently dropped, um, ooh, ooh. I want to be unbiased. You know what I'm going to say? It's supposed to hold you over. It's a master grade. Don't say it. Yeah, I'm going to say it, Jack. A Bandai kit? Bandai kit. Okay, let's see. Let's see the band I get then. It's, the, it's definitely the Sinaju Stein, the new one. Is a game manager? It's a game manager. It's definitely a game manager. I'm being real. That's just me being unbiased. Yes, do I love the kit? Do I think it could be up there for this year, kit of the year in Bandai's terms? It definitely could be, but it's it's not it's not revolutionary. It's not going to change the game. It's not going to have kits. It's not going to. It's, it's Did a I hurt you to say this? It, no, I'm looking not at him. Really. It, it, he's, yeah, I mean, he's like, yeah. <laughs> that's why I was like, oh, that's that hurts his no, soul. Not... This hurts my man's soul. That's real. No, though. It, it that's real. I, I, I agree. I, I'm not gonna be biased, and when I say this, I'm, I know I want to, you know, not be subjective, be a, you know, objective here. But I think the definitely the Stein is gonna be a placeholder, and just like the um, CPAT, I don't think that's gonna be revolutionary. It's not gonna be game changing at all. It's not a um even though they're Verkaz, I don't think they beat out the Wing Zero. I think the Wing Zero is the best Verka outside of the MGX, if I'm not holding the MGX to that standard. But the Wing Zero Verka is the best Verka. Um for what you can do, transformation, um, pieces don't fall off. It's definitely up there as the one of the, if not the best Verka. That's yeah, I was just saying Verka is it's definitely in the top five. Yeah, do you think You're, Bandai's kind of hit hit a wall as far as like their Verkar Masquerade line? There's nothing they can really break through with right now. Is that why we're not seeing any more Masquerades? Um, lost. Uh, well, I think that what they want to do is do keep the Verkar line going, but use the have the next MGX come out as a Verkar. To be honest, I think the the new one, the Freedom Strike Freedom, I think it was that was in preparation of the movie, a money grab, another game manager kit. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's revolutionary. Just making the frame gold. What would be the difference if you take the strike and just paint the frame three different pieces gold? I, actually, now that you say that, I, I think the MGEX line, the line in general, is just the game manager. I don't think there's any kit in there that's really worth. It's weight. I don't know, Jack. I don't the, know, Jack. The, the, MG, the, the unicorn. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that. I mean, honestly, dog, you, 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 not, you, not you, dog, nah. dog, you're crazy. Not worth. Okay, hear, the, me the, hear me out. Hear me out. Two sixty. 
No, I, two, six, I don't think it's worth the price. You don't think it's worth the price? <laughs> hear me out. Hear me I, I think out. it's the best iteration of the unicorn. It I don't is. Think it, I don't it think will. it's worth the three hundred and thirty-five dollar price tag. I don't know who's spending three thirty-five, but it's two sixty. No, it's two ninety it, plus tax. Great. Go ahead. Go ahead, Austin. You, I think you're thinking of the strike freedom. The strike freedom is two sixty. No, the strike freedom is one sixty. For one sixty? Oh, never mind. Mm -hmm. Oh no, but hear me out. Um, it is the best iteration of the unicorn. Um, in my opinion, in, ma in master grade form, it is the best. It actually fixes uh, the leg proportion problem, even when it transforms and untransforms. So it's actually even um, on all three axes. Uh, I think, in general, the lights in it, two seventy two is the common price. Two seventy two, two seventy two plus tax three hundred, and shipping. Uh, shipping might be free. Shipping. shipping might be free because it's just expensive, but three hundred. Three hundred twenty-five dollar tax. Go ahead, Austin. You oh, right. see how you wild? You see yeah, how no. wild you sound? Up here at ten percent. Two. So it's thirty. Bucks. To be fair to CD, I did see it for three hundred in the store down in Florida, and they have no tax. It's so resale that store, though. That store was wild. <laughs> that yeah, store was wild. I seen it go for four fifty at at Atlantis. But go ahead, Austin. Uh, no, I I don't think it really brings anything besides <laughs> just a redesign. And I mean, it, lights. Lights are some people's things. I, I get it. I, I like lights in my kits too sometimes. But to sell me as that is the main feature, but that, that's that's not the that's here or there. My my problem isn't particularly the individual kits themselves. My problem is the line. It's supposed to accentuate an extreme part of the kit. I don't think the lights of the unicorn are the extreme part, in my opinion. I think I Honestly, I think them just nailing the proportions of the kit itself would have been fine and just called it a master grade 2.3. Uh, the 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 strike the strike freedom, all that gold, in my opinion, isn't really a reason to buy the kit. I, I just don't see that as like a standout correct individual I feel you on that. Thing. I, feel you like, on that. I, I don't think the lights, especially with the LEDs with how cheap they are in the unicorn, is not exactly, in my opinion, really. Like that, I, I've I've heard a lot of rumors about them dying. A lot of no, them no, no, no. Getting you heard dying. about the PG the lights dying. These lights and this LED strip in that MGEX in the MGEX, my brother. Next time you come over, I'll turn uh, it the off. the amount of the amount of the amount of the what should cost more PGU or MGEX? I think the PGU should cost more for sure. So, so then, why is the unicorn? more or the same because way. i think the i think you get a lot more with the unicorn that austin is failing to remember i i, I don't think you get a lot I, you, Dog, get you get a, you get lights you, you get you get a hanger and lights you get a hanger you, you don't you even get the full hanger yes you do no it's no, the no like, it's the full no, hanger no it no there's nothing over its head there's nothing oh. goes over its head the, 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 how much is the cage the unicorn the cage unicorn is 25 80 bucks, 80 bucks. the cage yeah. itself is 25 dollars yeah, no, no. See, but the cage itself, I, the cage itself, I, Austin does not have the top that goes over his head. Yeah, I know that. That's that's my issue. So when well, I say I'm, when I I'm hear about hanger, any variation of the cage, motion. yeah, yeah, I know, I, I know. That's that's something that Bandai's sorely lacking. When I think about hanger, right, and you've seen the picture of the big Zam, right, of that hanger, right. When I think of hanger, I need four walls or three walls with a hang with something over the ceiling with lights showing down, right. That to me is a hanger. I, that's why I, I look at cages and I'm just like, this looks silly to me. Like n nobody's kit is just going to be fully exposed on all three sides, four sides. But that's neither here nor there. My issue is that lights in a kit, in my opinion, box, CD. is not a much <laughs> is 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 not a an, is not like an achievement. We put lights in a kit, dude. People have been doing that since the '60s. I Dog. think the MGX line should max out 160, no matter what the kit. No, sir. No, sir. please pick up the side of the box and reveal what comes in the box, please. Other side, there we go. That side. Look at, look at. Take out the lights. Take out the lights and the base. How much do you think that will cost? Without the lights and the, and out the base, it, if a, and I'm just it, hold on, hold on. Green plastic frame. Green okay. inner frame. Green inner frame. Let me see. If gold plated metallic, if gold plated metallic narrative, Gundam on P Bandai, gold plated metallic narrative. Is one fifty. Is one fifty. So now a unicorn, a unicorn verka, full armor. 
I say about is what 115, right? So you get in this, about this isn't the full armor, is it? No. So oh, okay. that, hear me out though. So you get in, I say about with the base, with if you just give me a plain base, the hanger, because the unicorn itself has the hot master grade is eighty dollars. So well, let's just start right there. The hanger with the master grade itself is eighty dollars. Plus mm -hmm. better proportions and better articulations with a better frame, right? I'll say tack on forty more dollars. So now we're at one twenty, right? So I say with the three shields and the Gatling guns, the weapon pack, I say the weapon pack for a master grade. So one sixty five, one seventy. So a hundred dollars more for LED light strip. It has That's bright ridiculous. LED lights. That's ridiculous. The, the dog, the PG, the PG the, lights go the, for one twenty. I mean one sixty. The, the PG is bigger. The one sixty scale. I, you're you're and, literally have a bigger model. I, but I, I just but, I just can't. But the man, lights I in the PG, the lights in the PG do not change colors. Who cares? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Who for, cares? And, and for mean, you, like, dude, and for you I, to say, and for you to say, the the most extreme part on a unicorn isn't the cycle frame. No, no, the, no, the cycle frame is 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 the is like if you were to accentuate part of the kit, the cycle frame would be the kit. Not, and, and I can understand, you know, okay. having lights in there and showing certain di different lights is what you're going for. I just think that it's, I don't know, it doesn't seem like really and all three lights, and you got that, lights that go into the, the interesting part of the kit. I mean, I mean it, and once again, this all comes around to me just looking at it like that's that's an over, it's over, it's overpriced. It's just two hundred. You're just, two, I just don't think you're getting a lot. I just don't think you're getting a lot. I don't think you're getting enough for that price. In There's no other master grade. How much is the deep strike? The, 190. Uh, the deep striker. Yeah. The deep I think it's yeah. 190. And 170. Then, and then how much is the Faz? It depends on who you buy it from. It's 180 originally, but I think 220 is they go for it now. Yeah. 200. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll make it at 200. 200. The Faz versus. Come on now. No, no, the fast, the fat. Look, should anybody own a fast? No, not, in, <laughs> not unless, not unless you're a Gundam Sentinel freak like me. I get it, but I just, but you know, there's a reason why no one else owns a fast but me. And I'm right. talking to two guys who own a, a, a unicorn extreme, right? right. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying, like, look, the, the unicorn extreme to me just seems like an overpriced kit. That I don't see lights as really that important. You can give a colored frame. Or, Plus, or, you don't really have to worry about the, the line, Austin. The the, the line. Oh, is, oh my bad. Yeah. The line. The line is. Of itself I'll give you the line. Just is just trying to trying to make a certain feature of a kit that, truth be told, I think a lot of people didn't really need. I, I don't need my rims on the car to be so eccentric that everybody sees them. It's it's who. I'm driving the car. Okay, so think about it then. All right, so if it's a unicorn, right? Mm -hmm. What else would it be? What else could they make it extreme? Unless only thing else they could do is have it self transform. That's only thing else they would be able to. And now, and now we're talking about three hundred. And then you, would, you no, you would still need lights if it's self transform. Probably nothing. But in my opinion, I wouldn't have used the unicorn as the kit to be extreme about it. Okay, anyway. uh, strike freedom. What you want would that be? What was it what, outside of the gold frame? What else could it be? Once again, I would have never have used the strike freedom as okay. the to be what extreme. Should have used? Yeah, the psycho now, Gundam. This the big high grade psycho yep. gundam as a you master extreme. Grade. You said extreme. So you, you would just made it a master grade. No, no, no. I would have made it perfect grade. And I would have made it transformable. Duh, you said yeah. it, you said extreme. <laughs> I would have went the TRS well, in called, it, It's you, called you, MG You're using extreme. the label extreme, and I'm just seeing normal suits, like suits that are, are that don't don't really have that much of an extreme point about them. They're just the protagonist suits. You said extreme, well, but it has to be a master grade. Could be a master grade extreme. Yeah, oh, I said Matt, that would be just a master grade at that point. What well, you have to take What's a master grade and take and make it extreme. What master grade would you make extreme? Psycho like Gundam. There is no max master grade. Extreme. Oh, I'm sorry. You said master grade. That's sorry, yeah. Like, you said a master yeah. grade that's already uh yeah that already exists it already exists, and you have to make it extreme. Only thing I think of is if you did the well, psycho like, why, Gundam. Why? 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 Why hold yourself to that? 
Because why, it's why called the MG it? Extreme. It's called the MGX. You, but I'm Bandai. I can just make a new kit. Why am I holding myself to something that already exists? Because Unless I'm being it, lazy, like taking the unicorn like, and just like making Bandai it being lazy. Yeah, I'm or taking the Strike Freedom that already exists. Third and make party it beating their ass. Of course, and, and let's get to that real quick. The third party beating their ass. And CD loves talking about this, people. Uh, CD thinks it's a game changer. These third parties, I think they're game managers because for this reason, that's what they're supposed to do. The, uh, if they drop a Zeta uh, whatever kit in third party right now, that's what it's supposed to do. You com right. you're, com you're comparing a third party to Bandai. You're comparing quality to quantity, which I'm comparing the quality now because the third party. Okay. Has quality. Yeah. The okay. So now I'm pretty darn good quality. Correct. So now let's compare quality to quality. Let's correct. compare third party to third party, right? Mm -hmm. And how much different really is the Solomon compared to like this PG tall geese that's coming out? What? And not what? everything. What? Why? Wait, wait, no, no, no. Why are we not every? Why not are we every comparing that third, third party, party to third party. Let's compare the third because, party to Bandai. Yeah, no, that's what? not. That's like saying let's compare the NFL to uh, NCAA. So if we're going to compare. Like you talk about why are we comparing game change, um, not game changes, uh, third, third party, party third to parties. Bandai. Because no, said third party to Bandai. Correct. Because why would we compare the NFL to NCAA football? It's not that no, big. No, 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 no. It is a big gap. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. We're, no, 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 no. we're, we're comparing Mad Cat <laughs> to Sony. Like we're paying Mad Cat controllers to Sony controllers or 8 bit do controllers to Sony controllers, right? 8 bit do. Make some of the best gaming controllers in the world, and they're a third-party company. Why? Because they just focused. So now compare. No, I want you to compare Mad okay. Cat, Eight Pit, Do, whatever you just said, or Scuff. That's scuff. what I'm saying. Yeah, like okay. think about what you're saying. Like, Eight Pit Do is better than Scuff. Okay, so that's what, so that's all I'm asking. Compare okay. third party to third party. Okay. Don't compare. There, are, there are better third-party companies to other third-party companies. Just like there's better car companies to other car companies. Absolutely. Just like there so, are better companies to better companies. Correct. I, I don't Which, know what you mean. No, you. What I said was let's not compare third-party to Bandai because why? that's not fair to Bandai. Why is that not fair to Bandai? Because I want you to compare third-party to third-party. But but why is it because not fair to are, Bandai? Because it's, it's already quality over quantity. Bandai that, that, can't put out. That doesn't make any Bandai sense. Bandai can't. Bandai cannot put out that two point. That Solomon. Is Bandai making a product. But, Correct. But, but is that Bandai's fault? Then? It, if they it, can't mass it, produce all this shit and then stop and build a really good now. master grade. It, no. If, if, come on if, now. That's if, the difference if, if between Bandai, Ford and a fucking if, Lamborghini. Yo. If There's Bandai, a reason why. And, and you know what? You, let's let's compare that. Well, that's the cop out there because you're just saying <laughs> Bandai can't produce third party quality. They can't because it's too it's too many masses. And have to replenish. So you're, so you're telling me then that third parties here when it comes to the quality of the kids. Yes. That's all I want to do. But if I want, but if I want the quantity, I know I'm going to go to Bandai. Let's use your Ford and Lamborghini. Uh, if you have been, if you have Ford, make mm -hmm. the best car they possibly can, right? mm -hmm. to to beat out Lamborghini. Right, you're telling me that Ford can't do that. No, they can do that. Okay. Okay. Why, they can. Why are, okay, they can. All right. But so the question, you... but the thing is, Ford is going to make a car that everybody could probably get their hands on. Lamborghini is not, so that's not fair to Ford. Now, if you told me to compare Lamborghini to Ferrari, which a Ferrari, I can't get my hands on a Ferrari. And I can't get my hands on a Lambo. So, I can get my hands on a Ford Fusion. But Ford can, <laughs> but Ford can make a car that's as good as Lamborghini they, and they, make a car that's affordable to everybody. They can do both. What, they cannot make a car as great as a Lamborghini and make it affordable. Well, here's here's the thing: they did. What car is that? The Ford GT 2012 because, variant. Yeah, because six hundred and sixty horsepower, two hundred and fifty. I feel you. Correct, but how? Five hundred and six. That's so they made. So they made the car. They gave you yeah. the quality. Yeah. Now, now, as a mask, can I go out there and buy it from every Ford dealership? Ninety-five thousand dollars. The Lambo is four hundred thousand as the base what model. I, what the I'm actual saying, model that gets to the same speed as the Ford is seven hundred thousand dollars. But what I'm asking so is the masses, you can afford a ninety-five thousand dollar car. What I'm saying is the masses, Austin and CD, the masses can't. And I think Bandai appeals to the masses, the, the okay. normal average okay. person that goes okay. and get these cars and is get the, these kits. Is the Solomon better than not, the Dom. 
Yes. The and which one has price. and which one has the masses? Which one the masses is going to go out? Which one is the masses? Cooper, made is that is that an achievement that the masses could buy something? Yeah, is that an achievement? Is the, that the is that actual and units and units? Is, is that a goal? And but units, you, but you don't work for Bandai. Correct. I know that. Right? I know none of this money what is I, going to us. We're the so masses. All I, we're the all ones I'm who saying, stuff. So let's let's reel this in, right? We, I'm saying all is I, that we would like quality to come to our way. Correct. So let's compare quality to quality. That's all I'm saying. Let's compare okay. third party. Okay. Solomon. Okay. Third party everybody talking about Solomon, right? Okay. Compare Solomon. that to that Toggy's. Uh, uh, the uh, Solomon's better. Done. We're done. What's, what's okay. Next? Okay. So what's what's another third party? Oh, just we, think. We, we can't think be here of, all night picking every third party. Okay. Part. The, the glory. Solomon is the best one out of all of them. Okay. Solomon, correct. Solomon's better than that. Solomon's better correct. than that. Next. Correct. So what I'm saying, which is which is what CD wants to do, is compare third party to Bandai. That sounds like a good idea because we just did quality to quality and we just found out that Solomon's better. So now let's do Bandai. So why would we do Bandai? Because Bandai is not going to have any kit. Because, because, Bandai, because Bandai is a company that makes model kits and we like to talk about model kits. Correct. <laughs> that is true. But Bandai also makes kit model kits that go to the masses. They have to make they, a they million do. plus they, units. They do. They how many people? How many? How many uh, Bandai? I mean, how many Solomons do you think is going to be out there? Fifty thousand. Probably not a lot. Probably not 50, a lot. Fifty thousand. Maybe. Yeah, probably. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that. Because but, they can't. But and, they're they're yeah. But yeah. But they're better than yeah. The, because they all, I could only make fifty thousand. Yeah. My budget. And... My budget. My budget for this kit to be better. What about all those limited kits Bandai releases on P Bandai that we like what for ten years? What limited kit? That's not that's it, not a remote. Dude, the, the, the fast, the yeah. fast, the EXS, the Deep Striker. What what do you mean limited? Yeah. I okay, I so, based my life on finding limited kits. Correct. Okay. So what I'm my saying life is, is waking up looking for something. I, I'm telling. <laughs> do you think there's more fast in production? Not no. now, but in general. No, than, that's out no. more than a Solomon. No. There's you think no. there's more Solomons than a Faz? I, I, I know for a fact because the Faz is in production. Not in production now. I'm talking about in general. How in many general, units? Don't you don't before. think no. the back? No. No. There's there's no way on earth that they. You made think that the bag. Solomon is going to sell more than the Fast has ever sold? Ever. Give it time. Yeah. Give it time. If, if they keep molding yep. it, like yep. let's let's talk about uh, what's that big ass shit they just made for the Sananji? That the, metal what? build thing? No, 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 no. The the kit. The oh, the epic. Oh, oh the um the you talking about the Takashi Studios one? Nah, the conversion the kit. Nah, 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 nah. With the big ass circle. The Jindrobium. I mean, shit. We can talk about the Jindrobium. Okay. How, that how, how many of those have they made? I don't know. Uh, are they Not probably really? made? They probably made over a hundred thousand of them worldwide. Worldwide, a hundred thousand. They probably made a hundred thousand of those kits. I don't know. I feel like there's even less than that. They only sell the three markets: the U.S., half of Asia, and then parts of half Europe. of Asia is like half of Asia, half of Asia. But but you know the majority I, I of Asia can't they, afford can't they afford the a Dendrobian. They have the time. They have the quality. They have the equipment. They, they do not have the. They do. Come on, dog. They got like all these shows running out. You got one Solomon Nightmare. Well, well actually, Bandai doesn't control that. That's that's Sunrise. So sure, but what you have. CD, which if, if you're like, yo, I'm just trying to chill. I'm just trying to chill. And you'd be like, yo, I'm about to go to work for this third party or I'm about to go work for Bandai I, of production. I don't want to hear, well, Bandai's mean workers. I know Austin was about to hit me with that. I'm about to go to this no, third that's party. Not, uh, it's yeah. like, it's, I'm about it's to like, go to this third party. It, it's I have like to a, focus on one thing. I have dude, to focus it's, on it's a like, Solomon nightmare. It's like you're upset that somebody can give you something nice. I'm You're like, no, 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 no. It's because no. it's available. That's it why I buy it. Sense. It's good. No. I like Lay's potato chips because I they're Lay's. That, right, I don't get anything cool. better or different different tastes. That, right. I'm telling you, I, what, I, what I'm saying is, available. what I'm saying is, anything that's exclusive is going to be better. Like, that's already known. So comparing like a pair of exclusive Jordans to some Jordans that's out in the street, oh, you're like, yo, which the yo, which ones are better? Come on, Dude, CD. Exclusivity is not a measure of quality, though. You, huh? know you know that exclusivity is not a measure of quality. You know that. But depending on what it is, 
That's all I'm saying. So when you telling me, yo, which ones look better, which ones going to be better, I go only get X amount. Like, come on now. If, if, if you if I have if I'm judging a, things base by base on where where quality concern is, that's fine, right? If you if you're saying that, that's well, drop fine. it down. If Bandai could only make you know ten kits a year, if they could only make one kit. They can only if make they go, one kit because that this Solomon, the people that made Solomon's Nightmare, right? I could be wrong. Yeah. Is this their first kit? Yeah, this is their first kit as far as that okay. company is concerned. So let's just say, okay, so, so let's take them out, right? Let's make, look at a series of kits, right? That like the people that made the glory, the people that made that um one that you wanted, Austin. Let's compare those, the one that you got that's on your bookshelf. Let's compare those master grades to their last master grades, they're relatively available. Do they look and then they at this point the masses has got them if you want them right do they look better yes absolutely but again bandai is working on high grades sds mass real great they can't do high quality all the time these guys can't for now for now until they in, until they say i until somebody says i need a million of them solomon nightmares and i bet you the quality go down on them shits. i bet you that legs start dra- dro- drooping I bet you that, I, that light. How is that a? I don't understand how that's a measure against it though. Like the the the, the whole the whole idea of it's Bandai skewed. Bandai it's skewed. Bandai is being penalized and not being penalized. We should hold Bandai to a handicap because it does a lot more. Correct. And as far as I'm concerned, they're a multi billion dollar company. So what? I what, owe them nothing. So so they, think about it like this, right? If you're <laughs> like, yo, let's say say the Solomon Nightmare, right? Yeah. Let's just say there was one flaw. And I sit there and was like, okay, cool. I'll throw you uh crazy MGSD. You're like, no, I want an MG. No, nope, I'm gonna throw you Bandai. If you're gonna give me your best, which is one, I could then go into Bandai's yeah. fullest, right? And Fine. be like, yo, this is it. Fine. I mean, dude, if they're both available at the same time and you bring your best, I'll bring the Solomon, and we'll see how sad what, what's Bandai Bandai's got. Bandai's best. What's Bandai's best? Ah, man, to me, because I can tell you right now, it's not that unicorn extreme. It, it that is. inner frame is ridiculous. No, the MGEX is is probably their best kit. Oh, that they can put lost. on the table. The then unicorn, then the they unicorn lost. is for sure. Then they lost. They probably MGX. Then they lost. It has the. It has the. Out of all the. Out of all the kits. Out of all the kits that are out there, they probably have the best LED light show you could put on. It comes with the most stuff. Presentation wise, it looks best. You could do more articulation wise. The articulation on that Solomon is going to be all y'all care about is the fact that it spins. The damn gun spin. spins. That's it, bro. The thrusters the have pulleys in them. They're all controlled at the same time. Our, uh, CD, CD. Who has the better inner frame? Because you you've seen the inner frame of the of the uh, EG, yeah. EGX Solomon or the EX. The, 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 the Solomon is going to. It's Solomon four years hand, ahead. Solomon okay. hands down is the okay. best in the market right now, and and Bandai is shitting themselves because they know they have nothing that can compete with it right now. Okay, yes. right. A multi-billion dollar company is worried about. And when Bandai can thing. catch up, they'll still be four years behind. I want to take Austin um side with this and say, you know what? They waste that company wasted a kit by picking a Solomon's nightmare. They could have went with a completely different kit. They could have went with a completely different I, you style. know what? You know what? Every, Coop, everyone Coop, is Coop. Co- clamoring for this kit to come out Coop. from Bandai. You know what? Coop, so let's, let's take your side. The let's, they take, do. let's take your side. They wasted their time with the Solomon with the GPO two. They could have picked anything else, and it still would have been better than what Bandai put out. Yep. Yep. Correct. Because due to the fact, you're right, and I'm not going to just you're right because of the the time and effort that's put into it. But if I have for a million something units for MGX versus at the end of the day, coop, five coop coop coop. Let's five thousand. Let's, let's, if I give you five hundred thousand dollars, which one do you mm-hmm. want? Money's not a factor anymore. But this isn't this isn't about what Bandai does. This isn't about units. This isn't about, this isn't about people that aren't us. What does mm-hmm. Coop want? If I give you the money and I tell you to get the best kit you can, the best one, and you have to prove to me that it's the best one you could buy, which one would you get, Coop? And I I'll take that money, right? Just to make it level playing field. I know we don't run with it. No. <laughs> I'm gonna, and we're gonna end the episode here, right? All right. Because this is about if, us. And I'm gonna have someone commission not masks, to, because you don't work for Bandai. I don't work correct. for correct. I'm gonna have someone commission both paint job, like a paint job. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get the MGEX. Okay. I'm gonna get the for five and I'll be CD. Dude, 
if I gave you money and I told you as a person to go get the best thing you can get, what would you get? Between those two? Yeah. No, well, no, 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 no. Just general? you, just in general. You go do what you want to do. What do you want to get? It has to be a model kit. Dog, dog. <laughs> don't let the don't let this recency bias fool you. <laughs> I know what kit you're gonna get, and it's a bandai kit. But you're not gonna get it because it's the best quality, it's because it's what's something you want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be the Mark V. Yes, exactly. It's gonna be the Mark V. What would I get if I had the money to go out? I would get the Mark V. We wouldn't get the EG the EX. That's I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Once CD builds it, once CD builds it, he'll you he'll, he'll see. Once you once, <laughs> once you get that articulation running, and you go, you're like, yo, I can put this in any will, will never outbeat the Mark V. Wait till you wait in my heart, you know. Wait in your heart. See, that's what that's what happens. It all comes back to people, individual people. There we go. <laughs> Man, this was a fun episode. We could have been going for this for the next two hours. I feel like. I, I promise you. I promise you, y'all. Let us know in the comments below. We did y'all a treat. We did y'all a favor. We went back to back long episodes. So don't be disappointed if next week's episodes are very quick, short. A quick. <laughs> <laughs> very short. Very short. Don't forget, check out Vulcan Hobby. Use code Undergate10 to get 10% off your order. Help us out. Uh, we really don't get much of anything from it, to be honest with you. We just looking to help out people. Use under gate 10. Let Vulcan Hobby know you came through. SMS Paints. You got Chloe's dad. Go ahead, CD. Use uh, Chloe's dad 10. Get 10% off the best paint brand out there. Um, spray as you go, as Coop knows and Austin knows and I know. Pour it in the gun and go. Pour and in the have, gun and let it run, Jack. Hundreds of colors. They now feature their own airbrush products. They have their own paint brushes. Um, One stop shop. There you go. They don't sell those model kits. And tools such as tools that you might find at Gun Primer. Use code Coop10 directly with Gun Primer to get some of the best tools in the market. I'm loving the little mini handle. I'm loving the gritter and I'm loving everything. The glazer. Whew. Check out Gun Primer. Check out Gun Primer. And um, you'll see for yourself. Until next time, people. I'm CD. I'm CD. That CD. I was gonna say, I was gonna say Austin. I was like Austin started moving his hand and threw me off. I was like, yo, I was looking at Austin. Hey. Usually hey, what CD? CD. <laughs> I'm like, Austin started doing this. And I'm like, okay, that's what the hell is Austin? That was what you call the Oodle Loop. It was not processing what I was picking up. Ooh, these um, long episodes, bro. <laughs> yeah, there it is. That CD, that's Austin. I'm cool. Together we make the unnegated, never underrated. Until next time. Y'all got 168 hours to the new episode. Peace.